Hello and good morning, my friends. How you doing? Bad. 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 Good. Hi. It's Saturday. It's the weekend. We're all having a fantastic and cozy weekend. We're back with day two of our Surviving the Aftermath playthrough. And I'm really enjoying this game. It's, yeah, it's just the right amount of survival. It's just the right amount of city builder. It's just the right amount of cozy. It's been, uh, it's been a pretty good time. Hope you've been enjoying it as well. Let's get right to it. Ha ha. I'll wait for things to load. And tell me how you're doing. How your day is going. Sure. Slider's in a good spot here. Accidentally clicked through the uh, the intro video. Let's not do that this time. Everything Aha! I once knew is gone. We've become drifters, roaming the wastelands. It's very quiet. We're scouring the wreckage for something to hold on to, searching for someone to light the way forward. Pollution could be cleared. No time soon, it can't. But we'll try. I have, uh, I have strong goals for Operation Move Pollution. Alright, well, welcome to our colony. <clears throat> if you missed yesterday's stream, I mean, I guess we should start by talking about what the game is. So this is a survival city builder where, you know, we've played a bunch of these before. You have people, you have resources, you have to give them water, you have to give them food. We've been naming people after chat. We have not... Just because individual people don't ever really show up in a way that makes um, that makes naming them make sense. They just, like, the individual people in your town don't work jobs. Like, in Timberborn, it was a lot easier to track what an individual did when they were born in the life cycle and stuff like that. There's just a layer of separation between it. But I thought about it when we first jumped in. I thought it'd be kind of fun. We do have a bunch of specialists who help us out, but they're named, they're all named after Joe. So we have Dodo. Jojo, Damajo, Jorappa, Jobel, uh, Mr. Bjork. The Joe is silent. Uh, Jose and the Jowler. So you build your little town here, which is pretty cool and pretty interesting. So this part's pretty standard. And then there's a second game, which is we uh, you take your people and you send them out to explore a map and they can find little places to grab resources and so on and so forth. It's very interesting. Hi, Surgeon Chat. I'm about to board a plane and wanted to say you're all swell, and I hope that you have a good day. I hope you have a fantastic trip. And I also hope your uh, your Thanksgiving went well. I really enjoyed your your story about teasing your wife as she was cooking dinner. I don't know. I thought that was quite cute. So anyways, we can go and we can pick fights with, like, bandits and stuff like that, and we can also set up camps. So I have a camp here. Ooh, there's four people who'd like to join us. So there we go. We have four people who are going to come and join our colony. Three adults and a child. And we have a science outpost here, here, and here. So it's giving us passive science of 138 every 24 hours. And I think we just unlocked the ability to trade. Oh, we haven't built it yet, but we have the ability to buy things. Oh my goodness. So these people sell guns and an entire car. Which is kind of wild. Uh, these people sell an entire car and other things as well. Neat! They have livestock, which we haven't started using yet. And then we currently have two quests. Um, we have to take out the shadow encampment, so I'm going to grab a whole bunch of my people here. We're going to go pick a fight. Maybe we'll stop by and kill these rippers first. Oh, it's a boss! Interesting. And then where's the other quest? Oh, the other quest is to build something which isn't too important for us. So all in all, it's pretty interesting, eh? There's still a lot of world map to go. 
So without further ado, let's uh, let's get to this. Wait, how much room do I have for people? Zero. I have zero room for people, so I should fix that before people move on in. So the goal here... The goal here is to eventually upgrade all of these houses into these shanties. So instead of being in tents, they can be in these little old RVs. <clears throat> Three of my people are irradiated. That's fine. The Great Healer. A hundred of our people have been healed. We're so good at this. Right, it's nighttime. Maybe we shouldn't start, like, destroying people's houses while they're literally sleeping. <laughs> what are you complaining about? Hmm? <sighs> Malnourished. Right, 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 right. I learned an important thing the other day. Which is, apparently, my people don't only want to eat... They don't only want to eat, um... Uh -huh. Meat. Yes. Which shocks me. They actually want yep. to have a balanced diet, and I've never been more confused. How may I help you? Alright, so we want to take these three fighters that are here. All right. huh? And we want to send them Go over on. to yep. here. There we go. We've got a bunch of people at home right now. I would like to send a scavenger. All right, let's send a Jobel over there. What's up? I want to send the scavenger. Oops. What? Uh -huh. There we go. I want to send the yeah. scavenger to grab these irradiated pills. Irradiated pills? That's how much it's going to take. Um takes 10 damage every 12 hours. Okay. There's 36 pills. I can grab 8 every 12 hours, which means it'll take me 4 hours and they won't die. Good! Wait, but I also scavenge at 200%. I, I think I can make it. I think I can make it is what I'm learning. All right, go, my team. So we lost a colonist the other day, which I was very sad about. We uh, sent one by themselves to try and take on one of these quest fights, and they died. One of my favorite Joes. And yeah, if you're just joining for the first time and you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Always happy to uh, try and make joining in a little bit late as easy as possible. Do I have any resources anywhere? The plastic. I'm trying to see if there's more berries I could maybe be getting here. There's berries right there. Awesome. Where's my food gathering hut? Oh, they're gathering berries right now. Awesome. Okay. I'm just trying to get some fruit and veggies for people while we wait for our uh, crops here to catch up. Four survivors have joined the colony. Fantastic. Oh, heck. I uh, didn't get a chance to destroy these houses first. There we go. Hey, what's up, Winter Nightingale? Is this a nuclear apocalypse scenario? Kind of? So what happened is things were already kind of falling apart for humans. Uh, and then, and then like uh, the moon and a giant like meteorological event happened and that started smashing everything. Sorry, is my water support? That's bad. <clears throat> Don't want our water to get contaminated. 
So yeah, like, giant meteorites were falling from the sky and killing everybody, which is obviously a really bad idea. Large water storage. Let's uh, throw that down in here somewhere too. A little away from the pollution. Nope. Don't want that there. Oh, I just destroyed my path. So anyways, um, asteroids started ruining everything. Like, just started smashing everything. And then from the wreckage, then people started fighting for all of the resources. So it's kind of exciting because it wasn't just like the same old, tired, you know, war. War never changes. <clears throat> But um, there is nuclear radiation, even though that wasn't the, like, initial cause of why everyone died. Things were bad and then the moon happened. Yeah. <laughs> Im important question. How's your day going? Oh, my day is great. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I'm super cozy. Just having a fantastic day. Oh, is it more science time? Um, we could get more people cooking. How's that going to go? Oh, I probably need another line cook. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we have a bunch of tech, which is, you know, a thing that happens in these games. Uh, but something that's really interesting. Oh, a group of survivors are at the gate. <clears throat> All right, one sec. Hello. A crowd of people has gathered at the gate. Their eyes pleading and cheeks hollow from malnourishment. They make their case. Our family has been through a lot. I know asking to take us all in is too much, but please, at least take Grandpa. He's old. He's too old to keep traveling, and he needs a place to spend his last years to write his memoir. The old man in question is obviously ill and needs medical attention. Oh, why don't you all, why don't you all come move in, please? Please. I have four colonists and 30 happiness. Okay. Um, that means... I need to destroy more houses and upgrade them further. Can I afford an upgraded house? I wanted to build a shanty. I can. Great. You there. Let's knock this one down. And let's knock this one down. I'll build two. Wait, I don't know if I have the resources for two. I only checked if I had the resources for one. Oh no. Well. What happened to you? Slept on the ground. Yeah, that'll happen. All right. Mason is radiated. Ella is infected. Tam is malnourished. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, let's start getting some people some, uh, some corn here. Winter? Oh, no. All right. Winter's coming. Man, you're getting uh, all the greatest hits right now, right off the bat. So, can I upgrade one of these? And what does it do if I do it? No, I don't have enough metal currently. Specialist is ready for action. Who? Ah, are all of you ready to fight? Uh -huh. Now check this out. Attacking target. Reporting in. Locked and loaded. Huh? Yeah, get in there. Absolutely dominating these bandits. So I have three people at home. I have another fighter. I have another scavenger. Um, winter jacket seems like they might be kind of important to get. So let's grab Domajo here. Let's send Domajo yeah. out to gather us some stuff. Uh -huh. Wait, I'm about to send you there. You probably have enough health to do both. Uh, new plan. New plan. Let's actually have you return to the colony. Let's grab Bjork. How may I help? Your command. What's up? Let's grab Bjork and let's grab get Bjork to grab this science. Congratulations on your coffee pong victory. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, good morning, totally not a beholder. Welcome. up, Mr. Lecter? Hello, three cats in a trench coat. 
All right, these are all the people who slept on the cold ground last night. We'll get there, we'll get there. Everybody hold your horses. All right, large clean water tank is done. I'm actually really excited about that because I'm hoping to... Oh, I'm running low on water. <laughs> not, not what I wanted to see just before... Uh-oh. Just before winter started. Uh... Um, all right, let's get another well. How are we doing? We have nine carriers, so we have lots of people to build stuff. Insufficient materials. Oh, geez. Okay, let's, uh... We've made a new discovery. Oh, man. I'm two short on one and one short on the other. You weren't smart enough to maybe, to maybe just ha I don't know. This is bad. What do you mean waiting for an available worker? What does this mean? I have so many available workers. What the heck does this mean, chat? My building broken? I need somebody who's... Oh, wait a second. I have production limit, so... Maybe if I go up to 50? There we go. That's the problem. All of your workers are currently on a merry-go-round. I, I see. Victoria is mutated. Tam is still malnourished. Kyle is irradiated. Shanty's done building, though. Alright, so it's cold now, but it looks like... What does it look like? Uh, my crops are damaged. Well, I, I am harvesting my crops. Oh, I missed this one. Is it too late to harvest now? Too late to harvest now. Alright, so it looks like the houses got done for everybody. And it looks like... Looks like, for the most part, everyone's got heat. Which is very exciting. Oh, what's this? A quest! A pack of boars has been causing trouble for a while. I attack them! Looks like we're all getting ham tonight, Twitch chat. The colonists gather on the far edge of the colony, waiting for the pack to pass. As the boars roam into sight, they strike them! Oh, jeez, I'm under attack. Yes. Uh -huh. Run away! Run away! You fools! God, how many boars are there? Oh, this is bad. Uh, did somebody just die? Yo, these boars are ridiculous! What the heck? Hello? Yep. We've reached a milestone. Jack was born in the middle of all of that. Jack was born. Good. We won the battle. Reporting in. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. All right, hold on. No, no, no. Mistakes didn't happen there. We're totally yep. fine. Going in. Go help. All right, so we're winning this battle here. Overwhelmingly. Yeah, look at that balance of power. So it turns out Boar's got hands. need jackets. My cloth people not doing anything? I don't have any fiber. Don't have any fiber. Didn't I just get like a bajillion fiber here? No? So once again, I don't actually know where my fiber is being stored. It makes it sound like I have 600 fiber that's just sitting there waiting to be used. But then again, my coats are never being built, right? So I've really been enjoying this game, but I have found a couple of just like smaller issues. Shadows of the past, head to the final location. Oh, what's this? The fourth location reveals a small clearing with a couple of enemies rigging up explosives to resource stockpiles. The rest of the group have clearly left in a hurry, perhaps because of what happened in other encampments. This must have been their supply post. Since there's so many supplies left, these two are making sure that no one else can take advantage of these resources. The stockpiles are far away from each other. Might be possible to save some. Alright, I've got a ton of food. Let's try and save the gear. I got 35 tools and 30 jackets. And it looks like advanced stuff too. Quest complete. That's exciting. Alright, so let's send Jojo home. Okay. Your orders. And then let's send these two to kill this bandit right here. So I just have no idea how much how much of this I have, and if I do have a lot, why it's not getting turned into jackets. You know what I mean? Oh, it is getting delivered. Maybe I'll run two people there? I don't know. Seems monstrous to intentionally destroy supplies. Yep. Well, this game... Uh, Never talked about people doing the best for each other. So this cannot store... Maybe maybe I just need to put a warehouse here. Like a general storage building here. Oh, it's a large building. That's a very large building. Do I have the resources for it? I currently don't. So yeah, definitely looks like I have the resources. It's just taking them a while to get there, I guess. I don't know. I'm confused. But what else is new? Wait, I still have a homeless person? Oh my goodness, I have one homeless person. Ah, uh, crap. Where do I put you? I really want a temporary house somewhere. Cool, you get a tent. You get a tent right here. And then after winter, we're going to tear that down. and Or we're going to use that to uh, move some other houses around. Good morning, Lirazel. I need to build the uh, the trade thing pretty quickly here. Because maybe I can start getting some more currency if I can start selling some excess resources I have. Maybe that's what I build. Yeah, I can build this trade center right here. I'll build the trade center right next to the, um, the outpost we have, right? that meat. I'm 
I'm realizing I should probably build a guard post in the center of the town, too. Just because so many of the attacks that we're getting aren't coming from the gate, right? A lot of the attacks are actually coming from inside of the town. Oh, let's make sure the house gets built first. Oh, it's already done. Perfect. All right. Um, my goal today, I want to get rid of that pollution. I want to make my people happy and healthy. You know what I mean? And so where is pollution removal? It's probably not under food. But you never know. You never know. Is it under community? Energy storage, wind power, amplification. I should just go through this one at a time. Instead of just clicking randomly and repeating myself. Hazmat engineering. Environmental station in the waste dump. Clearing heavily polluted stuff. There we go. It's 350. Oh, I can get that pretty quick. All right, let's cue that next. How has nobody fed Tam yet? I don't understand. Nineteen children? God, that's too many kids. Only seven of whom can go to school at any time. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not good when our population is sixty, and thirty percent of that is kids, right? That. Uh, Feels a little lopsided for our purposes. Have you won this fight yet? How y'all doing? Ready. All right. Sounds like some growth potential. Well, it's a lot. It's a lot to manage cost-wise at this particular moment. You know what I mean? Hostiles defeated. Yeah, good job. You did it. All right. So it looks like I have batteries and rads that I can get here. All right, what do you have? You have a 150% scavenge chance. Just worried that if I put you in here, you'll die. How many hit points do you have left? You have 56 hit points. This is going to do 10 to every 12 hour. Okay, I can't grab those iodine pills. What about this? That you can grab. Okay. How are you doing? You have a 100% scavenge rate and you have 90 hit points. All right. So that'll take... More. You'll die. All right. You'll just die. Perfect. Good talk. Good talk. You can grab that vehicle, though. Let's go take that car. Having lots of children is expensive. It is! Kids are super expensive. Nobody's gonna nobody's gonna pretend I'm wrong about that. Especially in the apocalypse. Oh. Right. Let's uh un unfarm here so things can get done a little faster. You're not working your kids hard enough? This is no frost punk. We are creating the best possible society here. Reporting in. <clears throat> A world where everybody claps. I almost have to make another bathroom. Remember our ratio, one toilet for every 10 people. We don't have 60 yet, so we don't have to worry about it. What's up, Green? How you doing? Got a lovely little place going here? You mean the community? You mean chat or my or my city? <laughs> or both. I mean, honestly, both works. Why are you so slow? 
walking. Yeah. You certainly are. Someone is screaming. A group of colonists rushes back from the woods. Their faces filled with absolute terror. A frenzied mutated deer follows them to the colony, already knocking down a few tents. You know what this sounds like to me, chat? Sounds like we're eating venison tonight. Oh. Yes, we are. Okay. Some colonists fetch whatever makeshift weapons they can find and head out to take the deer down. They see it rummaging through the tents, its massive body dwarfing everything around it. The colonists ready their spears and throw them. All of them hit their mark and the beast stumbles before crashing to the ground. The colonists finish it off, almost unable to believe their luck. In addition to preserving the colony, they also manage to preserve some fresh meat. <clears throat> Once again, I really think I need a guard tower, like, right here. I just can't afford it. Alright, we got plenty of burning going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really going to be able to build any more stuff until we make it through. Until we make it through the cold. Oh, right. I forgot I'm hunting here. Uh, maybe I move the hunting area? I just... Realizing that uh, this is probably primo farmland. Yeah, I should start chopping that. Maybe it's not that primo. That's pretty primo. Well, I can make farmland on that side first. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Change of plans. Change of plans. You keep working here because I kind of like this area. Wait, is it better? Oh, it's 100%. Never mind. Keep working there anyways. 100% efficiency. And then, yeah, you start here. There we go. Throwing a stag party, everyone went buck wild. Chat, please. <laughs> Sounds like a waste of a war mount. You're telling me that you're gonna ride a deer into battle? Why are you still chilling here? Why? I've told you return to the colony like three times, my dude. Three times. Wait, what's happening? Why is everything breaking? We have a maintenance depot here. Oh, well, they're actively being repaired, except we don't have enough plastic. I understand. So it looks like we're going to make it through. We've got enough water. We've got enough everything. What I could probably do is I could probably tear these down. Oh, I have people working. They're very chilly. Researching has been engineering. There we go. Oh my goodness. We're finally going to be able to get rid of this pollution. I'm so excited, chat. So, number one. It's a lot of pollution. Probably number two. It's 
So we need the environmental station, which we need to power, and we also need the waste dump. Okay. Oops. And then I should probably pick an area of low fertility. Dump everything over here. I don't mind that idea. New trade deal available. Yes. 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 All right. What do we want? Uh, we could buy some veg. Oh my God. Iodine pills. Yes, please. All right. So what do you want? So I can buy. How do I do this? Do I get all of it? So how does this UI work? I've never done this before. Come closer. The gun's not for you. It's available. So if anyone's played this game before, how do I, how do I trade? Do I hit trade and literally all of this stuff, all of this stuff shows up? Or is there a difference here? Or is there like a way to pick and choose, right? Does waste run downhill? I hope not. Well, let's see what happens. If I'm just going to hit trade, what do we do? Oh, there we go. All right. I want your pills. I want all of them. Okay. <clears throat> and then in return, I can give you... What's a fun box? Selection of rare products required for the entertainment building. Oh, interesting. What if I give you, like, I don't know, 200 venison? Oh, I see. All right. Yeah. Let's do uh, 200 venison. Okay. So, oh, neat. Okay. Okay. How about some mealworm? Yeah, there you go. You love mealworm. And how about cockroaches? Do you love cockroaches? All right. My, they're not doing anything with fiber anyways. Let's go ahead and ship this, because apparently my people are idiots. I have 300 of it. Okay, so now... I've given them too much stuff. Fascinating. <clears throat> Herb seed. An edible, oh wait, an edible ingredient that can be grown in a greenhouse to create herbal medicine. Interesting. Buy that. Get a sheep? I don't have a ranch yet. So I don't know if that's going to help us. I haven't researched ranching, but we can always get it later. So I can get carrots. Grow fast and thus don't gather as much pollution from the soil as other crops. I'm curious if... Oh, there we go. You can actually get an excess of currency. That's awesome, because I can actually hire another hero now if I sell some stuff. So let's let's run ourselves with a... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Let's sell these cockroaches. Let's try and take some of their money. Let's run a surplus here, or whatever. Let's sell more than we buy, and then we can get a new hero with it, right? Get rid of all the mealworm... I need about 700. Too bad you don't have the ranch yet. Well, we can always trade with them again. Look, chat, those sheep aren't going anywhere. They'll be ours. Oh, yes, they'll be ours. <laughs> I think this is okay. And we've got 200 right now, so that'll put us at 800 coin. So yeah, we're buying iodine pills, which is great for our rad people, and we're also getting um, 600 coins, and then they're getting a bunch of food and some fiber. We traded for the first time. It's going to take a day. 
Awesome. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then maybe we start fishing after this. I don't know. We'll see. We have to make it through the winter first. Good morning, Rothon. <clears throat> we just need our kids to grow up so that we can get even more farms online, right? maintain that my tailors are idiots. They have everything they need to work. All right. Um, so I have two plans. One, I want to put a warehouse here and then hopefully we can store our fiber and that makes our tailor just way more efficient. And then two, we're going to start growing uh, even more crops here. What if they don't want to grow up? Look, this is... We don't have room for no stinking never, never land stories of never growing up. Okay. Yep. Times are tough here. We need them to grow up and help do their part, right? Right. Warehouse. Warehouse, more farms, and then we start rad clearing. Oh, and I need a guard tower there too. Crap. So many things to do. And I need to upgrade all my houses. Or like Peter Payne, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, I'm on slow mode. There we go. I'm feeling weak right now. It's okay, we have pills for that. Mission complete. So how are you doing? You're half dead, but there's no damage here. Moving. So go grab that stuff, Jobel. Good old Noble Joe. And how are you doing? You got us a ton of science. Heck yeah. You're a little beat up? Are you? Can you grab this? How much is there? I would take nine 12-hour periods. That'd be 45 damage. So you can actually grab all these components without dying. Am I doing the math here right? 75 hit points. You take 5 damage every 12 hours. But you'd also collect 15. Oh no, you're fine. You're fine. Looks like if I make a scavenger camp here, I just get one radiated jacket every 12 hours. That's huge. All right, we have a bunch of tech. So real talk. Should we check out this animal husbandry thing? Oh. We could do larger farms, interesting, or we could get the large ranch. Gets us meat and eggs and fiber and possibly also milk. Unlocks the ranch and barter animals from societies. Cool. What's this? Irrigation. Normal and even barren soil can be made more fertile with a simple irrigation system. Huh. Irrigated fields. What do you think is more exciting? Going further into our farming? Or protected crops? It gets us the greenhouse and insulation. Dang. Or we can go down the animal route. Animals cost us money. Is my concern. 
I think I'm just going to go with farm stuff. Aquaculture makes sushi. I mean, I can just farm. I don't need to grow fish to farm fish. You know what I mean? I'm just going to go farm. Farm gang. Everybody wants aquaculture? Why are y'all so fond of fish? Like, don't get me wrong. I love fish. <laughs> I love fish as much as the next guy. <laughs> what? Why do you like fish? We're going to put a guard tower here because we keep getting attacked like right around here, right? Alternate food sources produce redundancy. I think we need redundancy. Hey, Kim is now an adult. There we go. Excellent news. There are survivors at the gate. Oh, geez. More people are here? Okay. Hello? I haven't upgraded this. Hi? A ragged bunch. Shuffle slow. Two adults, four more children, and five elders. Oh, geez. But they come bearing fish. See? Who needs aquaculture when people will literally deliver fish to our door, chat? Well, they're all injured. That's exciting. All right. Well, we got some fish. Wait, do, do we have fish? Where'd all that stuff go? Um, and now I'm short on... Oh, God, I'm mega short on housing. Uh, I need an emergency shelter. <clears throat> How are my doctors doing here? All right, our medical services are going to have to hustle here a bit. Wasn't expecting this many people to come and join right away. Hit the books. What does that do? Have 10 educated colonists. Amazing. All right, specialists are ready. Oh, there's our trade route. Cool. Sorry, which specialist is ready for what? Oh, I got jackets. Cool. All right, you head back now. Mission complete. Got some coin. We got some uh, energy cells. Let's get you home too. Okay. Should have this car now, right? Yeah. Oh, what? Tam died of that infection. Okay, I might need to upgrade my medical clinic here. Now that we have like 70 people. All right, this is a little spooky suddenly. This is a little spooky. Did I take the thing that makes it so that my doctors work faster? Yeah, okay, medical training. All right, we've taken too many people in. I still have one homeless person. This is the worst. All right. Here's another temporary, temporary shelter. It's temporary chat.
I think the exact thing we need in the middle of this winter storm is some decorative shrubs. Very good. Hey, look, Tim is now an adult. Excellent. Need more toilets? Yeah, the ratio of toilets does need to be updated here slightly, doesn't it? All right, all right, good call. We've made a new discovery. I don't have a lot of room for toilets right now, but we can have one more. One more toilet. Who's ready for me for what's happening here? Your command. Sure. Okay, there we go. Got a bunch of jackets to hand out. That's going to go really well. Time for a celebration. There are talks of planning a big, grandiose feast for the colonists to enjoy. So I lose 20 meat, but I gain a bunch of fancy meat? Sure, let's have a feast. Middle of winter while people are dying, let's do it. Great idea. What's this? Food is prepared, drinks poured at the table, set all over the settlement. People soon forget their exhaustion as the celebration starts. But suddenly, a loud noise cuts through the air. One man is thrown over tables around him. What's the matter with you? What's there to celebrate? We're all dead. There's no hope. None. The man fumes. You know what? Get out of here. We're having a good time. The people around the man, annoyed by the mood being dampened, roughly tackle him to the ground. He's subdued, but refuses to remain calm as he ha is hauled outside. Idiots! We'll all die! Stop lying to yourselves! The sooner this ends, the better! As the man's voice finally disappears, people try and return to the celebration, but the mood seems to have been killed completely. All I wanted was a fancy meat feast. Some people, eh, chat? Some people. <clears throat> Look at this. Look at our little decorative shrubs here. Isn't this great? Anybody else cold? Oh, right. This needs to be upgraded. Toilets. Upgraded. I feel bad for the person who's in it right now. <laughs> uh, sorry, I need you to get out. Oh, the trade resources have arrived. Amazing. All right. Give me a second here. It's time to get a new friend. And this is a, shy a scientist named Mishka. Wow. Oh, my God. Mishka has more damage than our starting people did. And 350 science. Hey, what's up, Ark? Thank you so much for six months. Come for the survival. Stay for the decorative shrubs. <laughs> I really appreciate that, friend. Enjoy your new toasty bean. I'm going to take this scientist, and I think it might be time. Oh, and I think their name is going to be Joshka, by the way. Might be time to move one of our earlier people. Might be time for our original Jojo. Because look at this. Original Jojo has 20 damage. Original Jojo is worse than our scientist in every way. Oh, actually, I guess Jojo has more health. But they move slower. They have the same attack damage. But then they're, like, getting completely lapped for research and for recovery. So we're going to turn Jojo into a... We're going to turn Jojo into a helper. So we could put them here to start getting more passive science. I like more science. Or... How many passive science things do I have? I have three. So we're getting 138 science every 24 hours. It's not great. It's not great. Is there any reason I shouldn't just do mono science chat? Doomsday Fort. Deadly Militants. 
Yeah, I'm just going to throw out another science one. I just want to unlock more science. Uh, or do I? I do need to start getting more scavenge stuff. If I put a... Um, if I put a scavenger camp in here, I can start getting these fun boxes. And worst case scenario, I can just sell them for a bunch of money. Science is what got us into this mess. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Regardless, uh, it's time to turn Jojo into a settler. Even if we don't know what kind of, of thing we want to turn Jojo into yet. Thank you for your service, Jojo. Yes. Alright, so go here. And then what kind of outpost do I have access to? So we already have a survivor outpost. I don't want any more of that. We don't need a medical outpost. Drop-off point for scavenged resources. Yeah, I don't think we need that yet either. So these being our options. All things being held equal. I think I'm just going to go make another science one. I'm going to make another science one over here. Stand back. I'm trying science. What's that from? Is that an Invader Zim quote? I can't remember. Construction completed. Toilet. That's XKCD. Okay. Is everything XKCD? All right, we have another baby. Oh God, babies everywhere. Mission complete. What do we got? We got a bunch of those. Take him home. Yo, what up, Trevor? Thank you so much for 39 months. All right, actually, if these are special rad jackets, maybe I should set up a special scavenger over there too. How are you doing, Jama Joe? What are your stats? Ready. You know what? Might be time for Dama Joe to. Uh, Dama Joe to become a professional scavenger forever too. Yes. Dama Joe, I want you. Okay. Wait, have I never explored this? Yeah. Sorry, can't do that. All the good jokes are X K C D. Yeah, I guess so. Thirty nine months, Trevor. That's so long. Thank you so much, friend. Okay, like, I know, I know I wanted to grow my population, but I am starting to worry that I'm going to run out of things like wood and plastic. See, plastic just ran out. That's terrible news. It's terrible news. What do I do for long-term wood? I don't see the ability to replant trees. Maybe I should check the uh, the skill tree a little bit better here, or the uh, the science tree. I guess eventually our wood goes down. Wood production can be upgraded by reducing heavy labor at lumber yards. A proper sawmill guarantees a steady supply of that sweet sweet timber. Okay. Hey, Evo, thank you so much for 44 months, friend. Holy moly. Yeah, 44 months of being radiated. <laughs> Hold on. Sewing machines makes tailors better. Okay. Turn junk into parts. Okay. Bigger barrels, the large water tower, the drilled well. Digging well by hand is no easy task, so the shaft is often too shallow to reach all that underground water. Basic drills make for better wells. Neat. I have energy storage? Really? Deep drilling. So that's super deep water.
I don't want people to punch. Wait, there's one other tech tree I didn't check out. I'm looking for less wood. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, let's queue this up next. Pollution disposal is dirty work. Yeah, we got to get rid of that. We got to get rid of that. What do I do if I run out of trees, chat? What's the late game solution for wood? Like, I haven't seen the ability to plant trees anywhere. Hold on, where where's my town even? Oh, one of our one of my pop my, one of my people just passed away of old age. What's up, C. Dutson? How you doing, friend? Good to see ya. Victoria passed away of old age. George is irradiated. Just play until you run out of wood. I mean, that's fair. The environmental station cleans pollution, makes life safer and more comfortable by gathering polluted soil and decontaminating it to be stored in a waste dump. All right, so first things first, I need a waste dump. Oh, it requires concrete. No. Tech dependencies, how dare you? All right, so I need to start collecting concrete. Terrible news. <clears throat> Lock scavenging to concrete deposits. Okay. Isaac is now an adult. Awesome. Oh, one of my specialists said they were ready for a job. What is that job? Oh, right. I know. So, first things first. You. Yes. Go become a science. Congratulations, you are now a science. All right. <laughs> and it was thus they became a building. Outpost is now complete. Yep. Right away. What do we get? Oh, you're literally just starting that now. Okay. Okay. Three people home? Who has the best scavenge out of all of you? Jarapa scavenges at 100%. Okay. Yes. Josai scavenges at 100%. Yes. You scavenge at 100%. All right. How may I help? 90, 100 hit points, 100%. Maybe I'll send Jarapa there. I want those iodine pills. Or maybe I'll wait for Jopol right. to get home. Send an actual scavenger. It's fine. Yeah, no coal. There's a lot of things lacking right now. A lot of things that are lacking for us. There's a new quest available. There's a new quest. The frontier nomads are usually far too disorganized to pose a serious threat to colonies in the wastelands. However, according to specialist intel, lately they have stepped up their game considerably and ransacked towns non-stop to hoard whatever little resources they have. Liberate the towns. Hey, good morning, fish store. How you doing, friend? All right, where are these towns that need to be liberated? Oh my God. What? What is this? Okay. Uh. That's a lot. Sure, it'd be great if it wasn't winter time currently, right? I'm not hurt anymore. Glad to hear it, Isaac. Hmm. 
think it's time for another another hunting camp somewhere. I need to leave all these trees down here, though. It happened! It finally happened! Okay, that would destroy a couple of trees to build that. What's this? Oh, my, my people are finally home. We did it! We survived the winter, chat! Alright, so the first thing we need to do is we need to start replanting all these crops. Being disabled by a disaster, how dare you? Oh, they're contaminated too. That's bad. Same map from yesterday? Yep! Yeah, I decided not to restart. Having a good time. Does the forester not replant trees after chop chopping? Nope, I just chop. Only chop, never replant. Okay, so we had a couple of plans, right? Uh, one of our plans was to put a warehouse here so we could get more clothing. Oh, amazing. Uh, let's, let's actually just keep going with this. Made a trapper. We want to upgrade this trapper into a hunting cabin. Then we want to start hunting again because we are starting to run a little bit low on meat. What am I water... Oh, I guess the crops, sure. 14 extra people, awesome. We have met another society. Oh, we found another town! How are you doing hit point wise? Can you hit that? Yes, you can. Here go get some more science. They have chickens, they have eggs, they have science. We can just buy science and logs from them. Okay. Maybe later on when we can upgrade the forester, when we upgrade the logging camp, I guess. New trade deal is available. <laughs> right, of course. So I can just straight up buy wood from somebody too. That's kind of cool. I'm worried about it, right? Ugh. All right, so the first thing I should probably do is I have all these shanties that got set up. Let's start tearing these down so that we have room for everybody, right? Start upgrading all these houses to shanties, rather, is what I'm trying to say. Because then I can start getting rid of the... Uh, I made an emergency thing somewhere. Where'd it go? Can't even see where my emergency houses went. I've got these, like, bad tents in places, too. Ton of people who should be building that. 14 carriers. And I think elders also count as carriers. God, 20 children though. It's terrifying. All 
All right, get that meat. Because we can sell that. Okay, we're researching concrete now, which is awesome. What? Why? So, I think I've actually got like a bajillion of this, don't I? Maybe we turn this back into a different crop now? Didn't I buy um, carrots from somebody or am I being silly? Get some potatoes now. Four unhappy colonists are threatening to leave. Days until departure. Wait, no. Those are my healthy adults. How dare you? What's wrong with you? Why are you unhappy? I've given you everything that you need. How dare they? Ungrateful. Where are they even going to go? Oh, no construction resources needed. Cool. Too many kids? I guess so. I need a special event to show up to make people happy. Ah. Uh. We have bandits at the gate. Oh, good. Hey, I actually just upgraded my gate, too. Wow, that's some great timing. It's okay. This will uh, this will cheer us up. Arrive at the gate. They look relatively weak, but taking them down is still not an easy task. If you want that food, you can come and take it from our cold, dead hands, bandits. Yeah, look at that now. Look at those numbers. All right, and everybody claps? Is everybody happy? What? Why did nobody Why did nobody clap when we did that? Who got injured? All right, we're slowly upgrading stuff. Uh, next thing we need to do is we need to get that storage room here, right? This is something we were talking about for a while. It's a general... God, that's expensive. We need a general storehouse right here. <clears throat> leaving room for, I don't know, something. I don't know what in the middle, but we're just leaving it there. Yeah, I'm also sad that we're not... Uh, we can't keep those cars. We've only found two cars this whole time. We keep blowing them up. <laughs> But I can upgrade that? No, not yet. I want to put more farms down there. Specialist is ready for action. All done. Come on home, buddy. Are you in position yet? Yes, you're here. So I should be able to start collecting these radioactive suits. Is that how that works? Yeah, start producing one of these. Amazing. Outpost 
is now complete. How you doing there? Three adults, one kid. Not great so far. Ella's now an adult. So can I make concrete grab yet? The lumber yard, the recycler, the scrapper. Am I just researching that currently? Oh, it's still being researched. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't want to reset the key. I want to make sure I'm working on this. So yeah, warehouse, uh, radioactive dump over here. Another baby was born. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so now the concrete salvage. So where is there even concrete in the world? That's berries. That's pollution. Your metal. Oh, there's wood I could be gathering. Hold on. Time out. Yo, what's up, Stizzit? Do I need to um, explore further from this? What am I missing to find concrete, chat? What am I missing here? Where is this concrete at? And maybe it's on the map, but just further out? <clears throat> I find the coolest games? Yo, thank you, Camping Viking. I appreciate that. You think maybe it's just out further this way and I just haven't seen it and I need to make a scout tower? Let's try. Let's try that. Enormous bear. Huh? Huh? How may I help you? All right. What's up? What you Looks like bears on the menu tonight, chat. Didn't even realize this was a thing. Look at it. It's enormous. What's up, Sirius Tyru? How you doing, friend? All the colonists decided to stay, and the colony happiness has increased sufficiently. Good. Wait, hold on. Wasn't Muhammad just born? Now they're an adult? Oh, they're all here. All right, 5v1, let's do this. Let's go. We win. All right. Shoot. All right, two of you do that. Yes. The rest of y'all grab wood. What's up? Yep. Who's shooting what? All right, so general storage is done. Which means plastic, wood, okay, basic tools. No, I don't want I don't want food in here. No food in here. Why why is there meat in here? Hold on. Allowable resources. It won't let me it won't let me tell not to store the meat in here that's being stored in here. One of these things is not like the other chat. So I already have a warehouse there for things like this. 
So no coats, no tools. Those can go in that other warehouse, right? The bear barely knew what hit him. Should have thought of that first. Look at that prime meat. Delicious. Oh, I can start taking out these bandits here. Hold on a second here. All right. Uh, let's wait for them to stop harvesting everything. Yo, what up, bad panda bear? Thank you so much for 41 months of support. I really appreciate that. Uh, hello? What the heck? You're supposed to be potatoes. Get out of here. All right, whatever. Uh, let's grab all of my warriors and then send them out to play. Yes? Your orders? Mm -hmm. What you need? Yes? All right, warriors. Yes? Attacking. Uh-huh. Showtime, yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to move as a team. Yep. That's a scientist. Where is this scientist? They're there. You know what? The scientist has got a pretty mean gun. Is there any other science I'd want to do around here? No, let's, let's just go. Let's just go. That's right, Joshka. Bear carcass has been depleted. All right, good stuff. Okay, what do we have here? Metal scrap, metal scrap. So I barely found anything with this. Right? Well, I mean, finding more metal is good, but like that doesn't help me for what we were looking for. Uh, oh, what's that? Let's give that a try. Desperately need concrete. Can't find concrete anywhere. Wah, 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 wah. I knew I was too close to it. Somebody got irradiated. Do you have to craft it? No, you have to harvest it first. And then from there, you can do the next step. All right. So I should be able to engage in combat now. All right, so that should just absolutely crush this fight, right? I guess what I could do if I had an extra person is I could put a Healy camp right there, but whatever. Maybe those far runes that look like 1960s apartment block? Yeah, the one I'm putting the scout tower next to? Sorry, where was I? That's what I was thinking for, like, this might be concrete, but it might also be metal. So we'll see. We'll try We'll try there first. Because I want to start removing radiation, but I, I can't put it anywhere, right? Uh, upgraded sawmill. Requires power.
Increases happiness for the improved shanty. Let's do it. Just go dump it in a bunker. I can't. There's only one place it puts it, right? Your command. A colonist has been having nightmares. Tell me about your dreams. A recently arrived survivor has been plagued by nightmares. He's saying he's having dreams of a ghost town that he passed by to get here. All the inhabitants had perished, and he took a few heirlooms with him as a souvenir. Weird. Now, however, he's convinced he's haunted by these artifacts and asks a small party to be sent out to return the memorabilia back to the town. He insists the spirits can only be calmed this way. There are dark circles around his eyes. What is the pragmatic approach? What? Sorry. What does that mean? I, I need to know exactly what's going to happen when I click on this button. It's all in your head, man. All right. I don't know. I'm going to take the pragmatic approach here. Obviously, ghosts aren't real. You hear that, James? Ghosts aren't real. All right. The man is sent to the medic to undergo an evaluation. And afterwards, another colonist who used to be a counselor volunteers to help them out. After a few sessions of talking about things that happened, as well as his anxieties, his sleep improves. After a few weeks, the nightmares are gone. Happy, the colonist willingly hands over the things he took. Which is uh, 15 jackets and 11 batteries. Wow. Wow. All right. Fantastic. Manuel was born. God, we have so many kids. We have so many kids. All right, hold on. Another scout tower is done. So, like... What does the scout tower even do? It's supposed to be giving me... Oh, it scouts over time. Oh! Concrete! All right, we did it. We found concrete. Okay. I didn't realize the scout tower scouts over time. What's my school system like? I have room for seven kids. Look, schools are expensive. Don't judge me. My advanced scrapper's at 97%. That's bad. All right, they all got defeated. We won the battle. Head to the next town. Wheat and canned fruit. Locked and loaded. Engaging hostile. Yep. Locked and loaded. How may I help? Sorry, can't do that. Can't complete the order. Sa schools are expensive, chat. Schools are expensive. Besides, we want to start harvesting concrete. One goal at a time, right? I want to make a car concrete harvester first. <clears throat> it's very expensive. Does this need to be powered? We'll find out, I guess. These dang toxic piles! I'm working on it, okay? I'm literally working on it. What more do you need from me? Can I make the maintenance area larger? Like, all right, the shanty is done. I have plus three currently. We don't have enough homes again. We're working on it. 
No, I have enough homes. What I'm slowly doing is trying to upgrade all of these, though, right? Now we have home improvement. Does that give me more capacity? So if I upgrade it, I have room for five in each spot. And they're happier if they live in there. Can't quite afford that much. So the goal is to get rid of a lot of the emergency housing, which we still haven't done yet, right? So I don't feel great about... Where did that... Uh, there it is, the emergency shelter there. can't do that. Get in there and help. We only have four carriers right now. That's not good. Three people are malnourished. Okay, how can I free up an extra job somewhere here? Lumberyard is super important. Uh, maybe my maintenance depot drops a person? We need our kids to grow up. <laughs> Please, hurry up. A colonist is poisoned? Delirious colonist is carried into the camp. Something poisoned them, but unable to say what. Should the colony be willing to take the risk to try an experimental and extensive treatment? Uh, let's take things slow and steady. Let's take things slow and steady here. It's not worth it to gamble with people's lives. The man is taken into treatment and carefully nursed back to health. When he finally wakes up, he's unable to recall what happened. The source of the condition remains a mystery, but at least he's safe. Wooden resources depleted. That's fine. Uh -huh. I believe there was another one around here. There it is. Get in the fight. There you go. There you go. How are we doing here? We're winning. Wait, don't elders... Hold on. I think elders actually function as runners all the time. They can't work jobs, but they still help. All right, so we've improved upgraded shanties, which is really important. I don't think I need to worry. I'm not going to make tenements, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, can I upgrade schools somehow? Knowledge preservation, high density housing. Jeez. Is there no way to make better schools? Like, I can't upgrade it or anything. It's only ever a building that lets seven kids in at a time. Wow, that's brutal. Oh my god. That's not good. I don't like this at all, chat. If you upgrade the school, it's become a middle school. We can't even do that. Wait, disaster forecast. Oh. A sauna? Oh. Uh, I want the sawmill to be there. Need, need to be more wood efficient. Seven to one ratio is great for a teacher. We're in the, the apocalypse. <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have room for this.
There we go, our first concrete. Two children are born, hostiles defeated. Hey, we did it. What do we get this time? We got 30 beef jerky, presumably. Uh -huh. Alright, let the let the the hits keep hitting here. Let's go. Going in. Yep. Negative. Just keep running right through this. We're not really taking any damage. Yeah. Beef. Jerky. Wait, why are both of those in air quotes? Wait. I need another toilet soon, don't I? It's time for another row of toilet chat. Two more! Two more toilets! You love the Latrine District? Thank you. I'm very proud of it. Adam was born. Three more colonists have mutated. Where is all this radiation sickness coming from? Hold on, time out. Well, probably this. <laughs> there are survivors at the gate. Uh oh. Ah, uh, this is tough. Hi. A ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards the gate. Oh, but they've got berries and medicine. Do we have room for another 11 people? I can't say no. I can't say no. I can't turn anyone away. Right? I can't. I can't. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. The water's fine. Old people are fine. Old people work too. Oh my god. 27 children. The problem might be the children. This is good, though. This is good. Now what we do is we take the... The waste dump. 55 concrete? Okay, we're not quite there yet. 14 people are homeless. <sighs> Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Make an emergency shelter. This is fine. It's fine. Just give everybody a place to stay. Rats are eating our food. Hold on. Avoid this with more durable crops and protected fields. What the heck does a protected field mean? Okay, I need more water. We've made a new discovery. Research the power saw. Okay, so that means I should be able to upgrade this to the sawmill. Costs power, though. That's fine. We can put power there. Make some emergency shelters? I already have emergency shelters. Building them as we speak. Just shy plastic. We'll get there. Hostiles were defeated. Hey. We won the battle. All right. Quest complete. Oh, we finished it. Good. All right, everybody head home.
colonists under attack. Oh, that's a bear. Oh, that's a bear. Uh, are they asleep? What's happening here? Hello? I wonder if two people can take a bear. <laughs> Run away, Riley! Yeah, we got this. Surge one, bear zero. I need uh, better wells, is what I'm realizing as well. So how do I make my wells deeper? I think that's under drilling, right? Drilled wells, there we go. What up, Zergen? Good to see you, friend, welcome. Out of tree. Okay. How's the aftermath? Oh, you know, it's fine. We're chilling. We're surviving. As one is supposed to. I have here 12 carriers okay that means I can try and make a larger farm now what is the Ooh, it's so fancy does a medium one fit here ah, it doesn't that upsets me but a small one does Will a medium fit here? It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. An odd group is approaching the great the gate. Oh, is it TQ again? Who are you? Figures is approaching the colony. A group of robed figures approaches the colony. Their faces are hard to make out thanks to the hoods. Pulled tightly over their heads. But their clothes have a long purple sun painted on them. They stop at the gate. No need to be alarmed, the leader calls. We are the sons of Helios, looking to trade. We've never heard of them, and it's safe to assume it's one of the Dane... Oh, the numerous doomsday cults. So they'll give us batteries if we give them wood. So I could offer them 40 wood for 15 batteries, or 40 wood for 10 batteries. Hmm... Hard to choose. Hard to choose which of these ones, right? They, they seem about the same. I'll take the 15 batteries. Thank you very much. Thank you and may Helios bless you, the leader says as he gestures towards the scorching sun. Once the trade is complete, the cultists form a ceremonial circle around the new goods. They perform a prayer and then head back from whence they came. More people are threatening to leave. Bear has been deposited. I feel like I need to make a second uh, plastic work area here. We've made a new discovery. Have we? Oh, 
I'll find something else that fits in there. Thank you very much. Maybe another warehouse. What is a specialist ready for? Uh huh. Can do. Reporting in. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, a specialist is ready to be hired. Okay. Put a house there? No, I want my houses all in a block somewhere. I think that'll also just look bad. Metal deposits exhausted. Well, lucky for you. Oh, you know what might go there is another, um, another maintenance depot. So I need to upgrade this. I just need to start getting plastic faster, right? Like... I've been, I've been getting slowed, I think is the word I want to use here. I'm getting slowed by my lack of, uh plastic harvesting for a while now. And I've got a couple of extra workers, 13 extra carriers, so. All right, once we clear the pollution from here and here, and I guess we'll move the burial area. Should probably move the burial area anyways. We'll make another school. Will that make you happy, chat? Wait, did I leave room for that? Might have to move a couple toilets. <laughs> another toilet over there. Drilled wells. Awesome. Okay. Emily is now an adult. Love it. All these people are home. What's our what's our next goal here? Oh, I didn't assign workers here. Oh wow, I can put multiple people on a big old farm. Oh, I like that. Alright, let's get some more corn. Let's get some more potatoes going here. I got all these folk. I got all these folk. I also haven't gone and fought anyone for a while. Let's go take these people out. So let's grab our... Let's grab the Joler. Yes. Yep. Your orders. Showtime. What's up? Showtime. There we go. That should help there a bunch. Awesome. This is done. Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. Okay. So. Now what we can do. Now what we can do. Where is it? It's time finally. Finally to start moving radiation. Right? Right? The environmental station. Ah, it takes power? Cleanses pollution, but also causes pollution. Whatever, we'll put it down here. And that means I also have to make power for the first time. So, produces 8 power. This takes 12? How does this work? 
Allows transfer of energy from one place to another. Transforms to be energy with an effective area, which can be chained. Let's give this a try. Start making a big uh, solar grid here. Looks like it works similar to Factorio. That's my thought, but we'll we'll see, right? Four colonists left. That's fine, actually, because it gives me a chance to uh, gives me a chance to upgrade these houses. Wait, takes 150 concrete? Oh my god. Okay. That's fine. We'll get there. Do we need to connect power lines? I don't know. We'll find out. Once this building is done, I left room to put power lines in if we needed it, or... Yeah, it does look like we do need to put a power line in, a transmitter. Oh, fascinating. Buildings need water. Who needs water? Wait, is that the tutorial for supplying buildings with waters now? <laughs> tutorial, please. Tutorial, go home, you're drunk. sad. Okay, we're just crushing it with food. Good. We have wheat, we have plant-based nutrition. Everyone's laughing, everyone's clapping. I'm waiting on metal and concrete now. That's fine. Wait, do these cost me metal? Ah, oh, shanties cost me metal. Okay. I should probably cool it on some of these upgrades for now. Oh, right. Something I haven't checked in ages. I made, uh, I made this. Oh, I have one protective clothing. Okay, I guess it worked. Fascinating. So I've got enough food. Maybe we should do a trade. Pardon me. Or maybe I should start fishing. I don't even know yet. One thing I do know, though, is I eventually want to... I eventually want to knock down these houses and increase the cook houses. But, you know, baby steps, baby steps. I have so many goals. I do love fishing, it's true. Pardon me. Not sure if I still have people harvesting concrete. Oh, I sure do. Just takes a while. They're only producing us eight, uh, eight per whatever, right? Just need to speed things up a bit. Everything's getting done. It just takes time, right? It just takes time. Thank you. 
A colonist is acting weird. What could be wrong? One of the colonists has been acting off lately. Having a hard time completing simple tasks, and even as she walks, she veers from side to side. When asked about it, she insists she's fine, but she admits she's been... Oh, drank out of a spring? All right, let's check the water. She shows the way to the spring. On the surface, the water looks clean and safe to drink, but a few colonists follow the stream. They discover a point of contamination. Clearly, the water is polluted in the water, and she's suffering from rad sickness. The woman is clearly shocked by the discovery after being treated. She vows to stay away from dubious water. All right. What is the infection? I don't know, just miscellaneous infection. We have antibiotics to treat it. It's fine. How can you possibly be malnourished? We have so much good food. We have so much good food. Soon, though. Soon this will all be done. Uh -huh. Going in. Your command, engaging hostile. Really? They're just letting Jobel fight solo for a while there? That's not cool. This isn't a zombie game? No, no, it's not. Three people in town. Let's get Joshka out there. What you need? Yes. Roger. Start exploring some more areas here. So I brought cars home. What happened to the cars after that? Maybe I'm just missing a step here. A magnetic storm? What? No! We just got power working. The air crackles with the faint smell of ozone. Devices begin shutting down and power plants seize. All right, all our power shuts down. Come on, man. Wait, you need the car shop to send them out again? Interesting. So you can bring them home. But if you ever do, it just like stops working? That sucks. Unlock and build lightning rods to protect your energy producers? Okay, well, whatever. Can I turn these off? Meh. Did we also nuke the sun? I guess so. Nora's now an adult. Great. I feel like my road is one too close here for these to be back to back, which is a little frustrating, but whatever. Do we know what year it is? We don't. And I was actually just thinking about that, right? Colonist passed away of old age. Stop threatening to leave. I'm building you better houses as we speak. What's wrong with you? It's so rude. <gasps> oh wow, that's so much faster. Maybe I should tear down some of these these baby crops here. Turn it into a big crop. There we go. Now we're plastic rich. Hell yeah.
a new quest available. There's a new quest, Splitting the Atom. Some people just enjoy seeing the world burn while trying to achieve some personal gain. Definitely the case That's of the Tribunal. The case tribunal, a chaotic group of misfits seemingly only interested in making the aftermath even worse for everyone. Scout has spotted them mapping out nearby nuclear plants. They're definitely up to no good. I will chase down the Tribunal. Speaking of which, how are we doing over here? How's this gunfight going? Oh, is that the tribunal right there? Convenient. Convenient. Yeah, I have no um I have no money and I want to hire a new person. So let's do let's do a little commerce here. Wait. Oh, there's my pills. How do I do this again? One person working there. I guess I didn't buy carrot seeds or whatever. They were too expensive. What do you have? You have pigs. You have a vehicle. You can also buy sheet metal. Okay. Buy wood. I could buy science. It's kind of cool. What do I want to do? Mostly I just want to offload my money. What do sunflowers get us? Oh, you'd use it for oil. Cool. Is that it? Just the four towns? They sell a whole car. Yeah, but apparently we can't do anything cool with them. So whatever. Try and buy these. Alright, let's uh let's trade here. Let's trade. I'm interested in your carrots. Wait, it makes our reputation worse if I sell... Why is it worse if I sell corn? What? Doesn't even make any sense. Every corn I sell is bad. Every antibiotic I sell is good, though. Oh, interesting. Wait, special deal. Weird. This town hates corn, chat. That's what we've learned. That's what we've learned. Hates corn. Weird to me. That's wild to me. I mean, fair? Have you tried corn is delicious? What's wrong with you? All right. Medicinal herb interests me. This game is not set in the American Midwest. Yeah. Corn isn't even a real vegetable, it's cereal. When did corn hurt you? What What happened? Yo, what's up, Gunner? Thank you for 50 biddies. I believe they'll find that corn is amazing. Oh my god. It hurts. It isn't edible. Alright, let's sell this wheat. Alright, so first off, we're going to buy corn and herbs. And I need a thousand dollar dues here. So let's sell a hundred, let's sell 200 venison. Uh, let's sell fish. I'm going to start farming fish, by the way. It's time. I'm going to sell all this wheat. I'm going to sell some junk.
I live in a cornfield. Picking corn stalks out of my yard year round. I don't know. Sounds like you've got beef with corn or something. What do I do here? They won't buy my corn. They won't. They'll turn hostile if I try and sell corn to them. I hate this. I don't want to sell them antibiotics. I need to make up $300 here. I could sell all of my venison. That seems bad. I could sell all my patats. Oh, that's also a bad idea. Plastic is a bad idea. I could sell some clothing. I've got so much fiber. Yeah, let's sell our clothing. Uh, maybe I should keep it. Not too late. Is fuel worth holding on to? It's only worth 90. Maybe I can't afford this right now. Maybe, maybe I just buy herb. No, maybe I just buy seed for now. I just buy carrots for now because I can't do anything with herbs anyways, right? I like that chat is just like silent and lurking and having a good time. And then somebody is like, corn puns! And they kick open the door and everybody starts like, chat super active. And I was like, ha ha! Ah, oh, good punning everybody. Back to lurking. And they just vanish again. <laughs> I don't understand you, chat. I don't understand. But I respect you. kernel of truth to that get out <laughs> all right I, I guess I could sell some fibers too Let's sell 100 fibers there we go making some bucks Wow, need like 80 more. Brutal. Chatting is silver, lurking is gold. Oh my god. Hostiles are defeated. Whoa! Lightning! Oh god. I'm starting to think that this event only happened because I, uh... Wait, did I have a scientist here? I have a scavenger here. Can these two take this? I need another warrior. Yep. How may I help you? Locked and loaded. How may I help? Engaging hostile. Reporting in. Attacking target. Yep. You got it. All right, we have 500 signs right now. The game is punishing my hubris? Doesn't even make sense. It's just rude. Get deeper. This takes power though. Produces heat, radiators. So it means I could stop burning wood, which is great. All right, where's the stupid lightning rod I could have made? I hate this. I hate this. Where's the lightning rod? It's not even under power. Razors. Under security? Well, it's exploration. It 
Surge protectors. Oh my god, they're so far away. No. All right, we're just going to have to weather the storm. Do your best, chat. Do your best. Sixteen call. Oh, jeez. This is exciting. Wait, it got straight up destroyed. Yo, that sucks. Is this survive five catastrophes in a single playthrough? I sure did. Four colonists left. Get out of here, you butts! Look, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. A lot of people are talking a big game. Like they could do any better in their position? How dare they? Here I am trying to give them the best possible shanty town. No respect, chat. No respect. Your orders. Engaging hostile. Get in there. All right, what do we find? Oh, another quest. Oh, geez. Oh, none of this is good. What are you? We got tons of corn. All right, we're trying to upgrade these houses still, right? Go! Oh, come on, man! What the heck is this? Boo, I say. Just sitting here trying to mind my own business. Rip all of my solar panels, eh? We've made a new discovery. Looks like I need a maintenance depot right here. Actually, it's probably too close. Dwayne has passed away of old age. What's the purple stuff? It's it's a uh, pollution. It's a giant spot of radiation that... This started on the map. We're in the process of trying to get rid of that. Hey, Penelope was born. Oh, that's amazing. Savannah was born. No, I'm pretty sure I pronounced that right. How would you pronounce it if not Penelope? I don't understand.
lot of people in chat have no idea how to pronounce common names. We won the battle. The bandits have been defeated. Exactly like cantaloupe, right? Sounds good. All right, send everyone right home. Away. All right. My pleasure. What you need? Okay. All right, we need to get everyone home and heal. Figure stuff out. Researching powered heaters. Okay. Specialist ready. Specialist ready for what? Mission complete. Oh ho! Just keep scouting here. Okay. All right. Are my people happy yet? How are we doing for houses here? Shelter space plus 15. Amazing. All right. So that means I can destroy this now. This. I probably should have kept those instead of the, uh, <laughs> the emergency shanties. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right. Uh... So I should have a couple of upgraded ones now. Everyone's saying I, I mess with words. I have no idea what you're talking about. Look at all these different societies that people live in. Wow. All right, let's get some fishing going here. Let's get some fishing going. I think it's time for fish gang, right? Ooh. Efficiency 0%. Hold on. Where's the best place for this? I could put it here. No, that's bad. I can put it here. No, that's bad. Put it here. 100% efficiency. Group of colonists are at the door. Hello? Ragged bunch shuffled slowly to jerky, firewood, and venison. You know what? Come on in, friends. Come on in. The water's fine. I got room for. Oh God, we're short on houses again. <laughs> I need to remove this, don't I? Turns out it's really hard to make a home for everybody, chat. What, what's up with that? What's up with that? Where's the repair thing again? Maintenance depot. Does it fit here? Oh, it sure doesn't. That's frustrating. Whatever. It'll get slightly irradiated. I don't care. Hey, what's up, Treon? Good to see you, bud. Look, we've almost made... We've almost made an environmental station so we can start cleaning up pollution. I'm so proud of me. Alfie is now an adult. Get some more science here. I uh, should be able to hire another person. I've got $700 reduced. Can I get a scout? Yes! Oh, our first scout! Oh, I'm excited about this. They scavenge, they move. And their name is Jogon. Jogon the scout. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Let's go. 
What's up? How may I help? All right, Jogon. Time for you to start exploring some places. So we've never been down here before. Of course. So uh, go check it out. And I just need to wait for all my warriors to get home and heal. And then we're going to go and do some more quest stuff. Jogon's also a decent fighter. Yeah, 20 damage. Definitely. You did put in a waste storage. Yep, I've got waste storage right here. And I've got the environmental station. I put them side by side because they both cause pollution. So I thought... Wait, is that a good idea, or should I make the waste dump even further out? I figured since this whole area is going to be polluted, I may as well dump it all together. You can sell your nuclear waste to people for money? Oh my god, yes please. That's so funny. In like a not haha -ha sort of way, you know what I mean? You get spotted while Scotty's gonna have to jog on out of there. That's fair. That's fair. All right, our first fishing pier is done. Amazing. This is the beginning of fish gang chat. Your orders. All done. Alright, 600 signs. What's next for that? A sawmill's out of trees? Alright, we'll check that in a second. Uh, why am I researching this again? Powered heaters was good for the next winter. Probably want to get into better housing eventually. No, better food. Better food still. Problem here. We've made a new discovery. We have bandits at the gate. Bandits. How dare you? A large group of refugees have gathered outside. The bandits have taken us hostage. I have nothing I can give you. No. Seems like a you problem, not an us problem. Oh, jeez. That might be an us problem. That's a lot of bandits. Holy moly. Okay, hold on. To the gate. Get ready to fight. Wait, I won. Never mind. Oh, we did it. Woo! All right, uh, maybe I need to look at a better gate here, too. Where's the next level of upgraded gate? Reinforced gate, okay. Fortress. It's a long ways away. I can't help them gather metal? That's frustrating. Or plastic? What can you do? Berries. Oh, you can go hunt this deer. Job done. Bunch of science you just got. Good job, bud. Good job. Check. Oh, right. I wanted to make a um, 
I wanted to make a healing area right here because we've been doing a lot of fighting. Two colonists and our adults. God, so many people are irradiated. It's brutal. A bunch of food here. Are you done being constructed yet? Ah, 21 more? My goodness, this is taking forever. Plus metal to upgrade. How's this game been? Any dislikes? The UI is a little clunky. Um, and I wish I actually had a little bit more of a role-playing game with the characters that we have up here for terms of like sending them out for missions. Because like, as time goes by, I'm just getting progressively better people that um, just replace the earlier ones, which is fine. I just thought that could be a little bit interesting. But I'm having a really good time. I think this game's really interesting. And most of my complaints are uh, pretty minor, to be honest. Specialist is ready. Mission complete. But like, all in all, it's been a lot of fun. Cranky, thank you for that host. Oh, right. All right. Uh, all of my army people are ready to move out again. So, yes. fighter, sent to world map. Uh -huh. Josai, ready to world map. Huh? The Jowler, ready to the world map. All right. Hmm? Attacking target. Yes. Going in. Uh-huh. Locked and loaded. There we go. Yeah, this is a perfectly serviceable survival game with uh, a fun little other mini game that involves exploring the world map and like, totally fun, totally fun, totally fine. All right, if I keep upgrading these houses, it costs a lot of metal, which I just don't have. A strange device has been found. It's a uh, single player. A strange looking device has been found in an abandoned car discovered in the forest. Turns out it's a directional antenna accompanied by some maps and frequencies to track whether it is whatever it is they're pointing towards. Many colonists are curious. Let's track it down. A party is sent to investigate. They find an abandoned research facility hidden deep in the forest. The place is deeply contaminated. How many times can we say deeply here? To the point where deeply lingering would be deeply unwise. The group finds some research notes. Deeply secure within containers, safe from the radiation. But the bulk of them can be seen deeper into the facility. <laughs> in the areas that are deeply contaminated. Venturing in brings... A risk of deeper radiation sickness, but could provide some valuable knowledge. Venture deeper in. <laughs> All right. Dangers of knowledge. The colonists ventured deeper in and grabbed the contaminated notes. As they return, all notes are inspected as carefully or deeper as possible. It seems that the facility was researching the irradiated zones. Most of the gathered data looks deeply useful, but not very deep, except for one photo that is of an unusually massive deer with sprawling antlers and pitch black skin that's seemingly unaffected by radiation. The same cannot be said of the colonists, though. Some are already showing, showing signs of radiation sickness. Ah, 
the more you know. Do, 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 do. Oh, actually, I'm out of rad pills. Awkward. Do I have a place where I can collect some more rad pills? Signs point to... Reporting in. Sounds good. I think there's some here. All right, do I have a scavenger? I have a scientist. 100% scavenge. I need one hero staying back. Rats are eating our food. Ha, joke's on you. You already collected it. So I don't know what they want by protected fields. I literally don't know what they mean by protected fields because I thought my fields were already protected. Alex was born. Is today the first game? I started yesterday, but this is my first ever playthrough. Mission complete. Nothing in here but violence. Consider it done. Wait, why are you going? Why are you going that way? Oh, I can't enter here unless I want to fight. The wolf gang lair. It's a 50-50? Yeah, that seems risky. Let's go the long way. Job done. Roger. God, we're so close to finally being able to clean up radi radiation. We're so close. We've made a new discovery. Have we? Archie is an elder and malnourished. That's not a good combination. All right. I think it might be time for my second cookhouse here. How many extra people do I have? Camilla is an adult. Leo was born. Oh, geez. Looks like my little housing block isn't going to make it, is it? Oh, on tools? Fix that. How are we doing for fish, by the way? What? That's it? Three fish? Am I eating them? What's happening here? It's time to do 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 duel. Showtime. How may I help? Engaging hostile. Uh huh. Attacking target. All cleaned up. There we go. Go get that science. Go get that science, Joshka. Do I need to make another metal grabbing plant? I've got two. Wait, do I only have one? Oh, maybe that's the problem. Oh, my plastic ran out. Oh, that's bad. Uh, plastic. Underground plastic. Metal. Plastic. There we go.
Look, it's like every other resource I'm harvesting right now, I have two of, right? So why would I make a second one of these two? God, I need to start getting rid of a bunch of stuff here. What are you? That's an emergency shanty. I'm really sad that I didn't make this road slightly bigger. I, I've got a bit of tech debt right now, and it bums me out. Uh, how big is a burner? A burner is 3x3, three three, so if I... Probably gonna need another burner there. So if I put the scrapper here, maybe I can finally undo some of this chaos. Rats are eating my crops. Please stop. Pesky rats have taken a liking to the crops. I could very well Ooh. eat away a huge chunk of them. What if we simply ate the rats, chat? <laughs> Delicious and nutritious. Mm. I don't know. Ever since I watched uh, Demolition Man, it's not a good apocalypse unless, you know, you're having a rat burger, right? What's the problem here? Weird. Did I tell that joke before? I have. Every time we get rat meat, I'm going to tell the same joke. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I feel like we should take our cemetery and move it out too. All right. We're so close. We're so close to getting rid of radiation. We're going to get rid of radiation here and here. Then we're going to move the, the body place way down. Oh, whenever a baby's born, people get happy. Okay. All right. Running low on water. That's fine. Got literal thousands stockpiled. We'll get there. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We've made a new discovery. The medical center. Cool. Can I upgrade this? How do I get a better medical center? No. All right. We'll put a medical center in and around here, too, once that's all done. Not just consistency. No, one of the keys to humor is repetition. Jacob was born. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> Hostiles defeated. Amazing. How do we do? I think we're healthy enough that we could probably push to the next one, eh? Now that's the quest? These are just random angry people? Oh, jeez. Uh, you know what? Let's clear them all out while we're here, right? Your command. Showtime. Uh-huh. Locked is how I have you. Not going to happen. No, only specialists gets names. We don't rename, uh... The people in the village don't spend enough time doing stuff to, to bother putting names in them, which is unfortunate, because I really enjoyed that when we did visit the Beaver playthrough. The Beaver playthrough. Personally, I leave building resources unlimited. You limit stuff like tools and clothing. Interesting. I just worry about all my storage stuff getting full, but I guess uh, I guess capping it's bad.
Yeah, I'll, I'll take your advice on that. Because, like, I guess I can always just sell excess plastic too, right? Can I do this myself? Oh my god, I can. So smart. Your storage is full, just add more storage. <laughs> I like the way you think. An unwanted visitor! He's been acting up lately. He's been getting more and more apathetic. And he's lost a lot of weight. We've had this one before. Check his rations. What are you eating? Sadly, the food doesn't reveal anything. The man's condition deteriorates quickly until he collapses. Okay. He's a nasty parasite in his belly. Well, that's okay. We can cure you. We have the technology. <gasps> We've done it. Wait, hold on. Why aren't you getting power? So we have a transformer. And then we have... Um, what's 8 times 4? 32 power. This requires 12. And we have a transformer. What do you mean no battery? Oh, it's night time. And power only works during the day. Fascinating. Neat. We're learning about power here, chat. Well, let's get our first battery in here. And then, and then, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. God, I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am to do this. Wait, why is it clicking on that but not this? Oh, that's a burner. Oh, that's an extremely contaminated burner. Oh. Oh. Wait, hold on. What? What is my... I don't have anyone cleaning the bathrooms? That's a mistake. Kill! I'm taking a lot of damage there. Alright, we'll have to go back after. Wait, no, no, no. Ah, <sighs> once we get more money. Once we get more money, we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to put a healing station in. And I'm, I'm definitely thinking the healing station wants to be... Actually, let's move it up one. Let's put the healing station here? Or even, even if it's just there. Um, I could probably do another trade here. Because I have so much stuff to sell right now, right? Nope, they hate me if I sell corn. <laughs> Wait, nah, screw them. Screw them. I'm not trading with these corn haters. I'm going to find people who love corn, and we're going to trade with them instead, right? All right, they don't hate, they don't love corn. Oh my God, corn is worth so much money. Are you kidding me? Corn is absurd. Wait, are they happy if I buy these? That's plus 87, right? They're like very happy if I buy that. Am I reading that right? Yeah, we're turning corn into a cash crop. Let's go. A bunch of corn munists. <laughs> they should want it. All right. This is the greatest moment of my life. We'll just keep making and selling corn. I'm a fool. Welcome to Surviving the Aftermath, a game about agribusiness. Yeah. 
Time to get rich, chat. Oh my god, we can buy another hero with this. This is the greatest moment of my life. Uh, oh, I'm going to buy all their antibiotics. What am I doing? There we go. So yeah, we'll buy all their components. We'll buy all their antibiotics. And I'm still netting money because of the power of corn. I have another 100 corn. Oh my god, this is the greatest day of my life. Quick, back to the corn crops. Wait, we're out of trees? Where am I, where am I looking here? What's my orientation? Right, right, of course. What are you growing? Carrots. All right, we got three crops for corn. Let's go, uh, let's go back to corn here. Wait, hold on. Yes, corn was worth more than carrot, I think. Wait, corn, wait, carrot is just better. Carrot is just better. Hold on. You're a fool and just ate your corn? Ah, there's money in the corn stand. <laughs> As I always say, there's money in the corn stand. There we go. Oh my god, we're doing it. Do I have another emergency shelter there? That's bad. Why isn't anyone cleaning that waste? We are cleaning that waste. How dare you? Get out of here. Pardon me. Would fried apples work in a stir, uh, with a rice stir fry? I do like fried apples in some cooking. I don't know if I'd put it necessarily in a stir fry. But uh, apple is delicious. Wait, how did this short out? Why do these keep getting destroyed? Gonna have to incorporate soon. That's a little too close to real life for my comfort. Like legitimately thinking about having to incorporate. I don't know how I feel about that. Two colonists died of old age. That's too bad. How y'all doing here? Anybody close to death? No. Are, are, are you winning, son? Slaps gunfight. It can fit so many bullets in here. We're going to make surge coin? No. Not making surge coin. That's not happening. Ever. <laughs> Look. The pollution is getting cleared. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, maybe surge corn. So. The radiator. Hold on. Heats up. Oh, right. I thought that... <laughs> I was like, why is there a building that just generates radiation? You're like, no, you idiot, Surge. It's a radiator that makes heat, not a radiator that, that puts out radiation. <laughs> Derp. Oh, man, that's embarrassing. Wow, a field hospital. That's cool. Well, technically it is radiation. Don't get technical with me, chat. You know what I mean. Look. Look! I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am about the fact that we're getting rid of this radiation. Alright, where is the next one we're getting rid of? I think here. Come on. Come on, get rid of the last piece. Wait, 
please? Okay, now it's time to move the burial pit to over here. We've made a new discovery. Cleaner. Our first bit of radiation has been gotten rid of. Look at that, chat. Remove your first ever pollution. Oh, I'm so happy. So I take it that's just going to go away over time? Is that how that works? That was a heritage site of toxic waste. Oh, man. Okay, so here's the plan now. Now that we've got excess resources, I'm going to make two more toilets. And then we're going to make another school. The pollution will clear up after a couple of days. Amazing. Thank you. So we're making a new burial pit over here, and then we're going to destroy this one, and then all the pollution causing in this area should just go away forever. Other than the toilets, but that's fine. That's a different problem. Wait. Oh, no. 98% contaminated fishing pier. <laughs> Yeah, we did it. They've been defeated. All right, everyone head home cuz y'all y'all look terrible. I don't know I don't know how to tell you this. But Oh, I have a scientist there. Okay, hold on. So, I could hit this science, 400 science, and we'll hit another science on the way home. What's this? Cool. Scavenger outpost. Okay. Is this done? Okay, this is done. And I know people are going to get unhappy if I demolish this, but this burial pit's got to go, right? Right? Oh! Oh, that hit harder than I thought it would. All right. Overall, the town is... Not great. Okay, so now what we do is we destroy two of these toilets. And that's going to make room for another school. Which everyone has been clapping for, right? Chat, chat's wanted a school for ages now. Where's my other school? Where do I, where does school go? Hello? Solar panel. School! Right next to the... <laughs> right next to the toilets, chat! Right next to the toilets. You know what? We'll even put a little... We'll even put a little bit of privacy shrubbery along the side here. There, school the second is getting built. Because we have 21 children and only seven can go to school at once. And that's not great, right? That's not great. So the... How are we doing? Should run throughout the night. Okay, good. Uh, now we need a hospital. So the field hospital requires power, and I don't quite know how we're going to get power all the way into there. 
also has water consumption. So I think it's time for us to put a water thing in here. But what's the footprint of the field hospital? Field hospital looks like this. So we're going to put power and water in here. What are my specialists ready to do? What's up? My pleasure. Just transformer chain it the whole way? Yeah. Also, what's the power demand for it? The power demand for it is minus 10. Power demand for this is minus 12. Uh, we're currently making plus 24, but it also has to go through the day. So let's make ourselves a couple more solar panels, because they're cheap. Probably a second battery. No, we're not quite storing it. Pollution depleted? Oh, woe is me. Oh, I'm so happy right now, friends. It's hard to even put into words how good everything is feeling right now. Right, I should keep upgrading my houses. And then we'll do uh, maybe entertainment after this. A trade convoy has arrived. Right, of course. All right, let's start harvesting some stuff here. Bunch of people are threatening to leave. Do it. I dare you. Why am I manually harvesting my fields? I, am I not supposed to? I've never seen a field harvest itself if I don't click harvest. I just assumed that I had to. Dude looks like Final Fantasy Sid. Which one? New vehicle found. Ooh, antibiotics. Get on in there, bud. So I have two people are at home. I think it might be time for Jobel. Jobel here. 200% scavenger. Might be time for Jobel to uh, become a remote healer because I have a lot of combat to do. So I'm going to set up a remote healer here. Jobel, thank you for all of your service. But it is time for you to get a promotion? Yeah, this is a promotion. Sure. Your new job is going to be um, managing an entire colony. So thank you for all of your hard work. All right. Sounds good. That's right, Joe. They're getting a promotion. It's the greatest day ever. Need another repair building here. Well, ideally these get removed, so it's not a problem. They harvest when they're at max yield. The harvest now button is only for other stuff. Oh, cool. All right. I guess I'll just leave it. Minus 12 power. Yeah, this is fine. All right, so let's try and run a transformer. How far can I run a transformer? Oh, geez. Not very far, eh? Oh, 
Oh, they have to just barely touch. I understand. So if I want it to end here. There are survivors at the gate. Did I not leave a three by three? That's awkward. Winter storm. All right. Well, it's time for me to hit that uh, harvest all button, isn't it? Bunch. Shuffle slowly towards Clothing and antibiotics. Yeah, get on in here. I don't think we've turned anyone away. Wait, hold on. I was supposed to be making um, better burners, wasn't I? Is it Frostpunk time? I hope not. All right, so the transformer is there, and then I want a water tower. The water tower. Crap, is a water tower also a 3x3? Three three? So all this 2x2 two two space I left on the inside is actually just useless. My dreams! So get down there, and I need you to build an outpost, which is a medical outpost. My pleasure. Outpost is now complete. Two by two isn't great. Yeah, I guess we just fill that with hedges or something now. Do the hedges even make them happier? It just looks like it's decorative. It makes it it makes us happy, not them. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, we're sort of doing our ten to one ratio of toilets here. The fact that they aren't currently, like, constantly occupied means we're doing great. Oh, I'm going to need another upgraded well before, um, before the bad stuff hits. Hey, Basil! What's up, friend? Thank you very, very much for cashing in another month of subscriptions, courtesy of the wonderful Star Wars THX 1138. Appreciate you, friend. All right, we, before everything freezes, let's get our water up a little bit higher, right? Several constructions are lacking resources. Well, that's obviously terrible news. I just spent all my metal. Yes! Oh my god. We're doing it. We're doing it. I'm so happy. All right, uh, the next radiation zone is probably here, so we can expand housing. Actually, let's do this one first. And we'll do that one after. All right, let's, uh, let's try something here. Well, it's about to be winter. Maybe I don't sell all my food before winter. Colonist has been poisoned. A delirious colonist is you know what? This happened once before. We're going to take the risk. We're going to find out what poisoned them. Cross your fingers. Actually, not nah, Easy. Easy find the cure. You ready for this? Bam. Wait. The information can be worth a gamble. The man is taken in treatment, but as time goes by, his condition fails to improve. 
The treatment has to be prolonged, and while the poisoning dissipates, the wound remains infected. No! Alright, we tried. We'll get it one of these days. Hey, Treyon, is this silly as well? Well, vermin doesn't necessarily mean rat. Lots of things can be vermin. We've made a new discovery. Like deliberately unequipping these fields so that when people do stuff, or is the game smart enough to do that itself? Mission complete. Sounds good. If your farmers can't work, they default to carriers. Oh, so I may as well just uh, just keep them here, eh? Very good. Berries have been depleted. That's fine. I don't really care about berries that much. Apparently I've been eating berries this whole time, though. Alright, I'm going to try and sell radiation to my neighbors. I'm really curious if that just works. Hello. They buy pollution. Why would they possibly want to buy pollution? I just don't understand. All right, carrots and corn are worth the same amount. Amazing. They want you to buy their guns and parts. Yeah, but I don't really... Uh, maybe I'll buy their parts. How much are parts? Yeah, what do they know that we don't, right? Okay, we're going to buy their wood because that just seems important. We're going to buy their parts because I'm not producing them and I have had a couple buildings that need them. My theory on why they buy pollution. When trading was added to early access, pollution trading was probably an oversight. The community liked it, so they kept it in. All right, that's fair. Sure. We net some dollar redos here and that'll let us buy another hero. I think it makes sense to buy all that wood. Wood's always such a scarcity, right? Like, may as well just buy it so I don't have to worry about chopping down literally every single tree I've ever seen. Baby Tam was born. Baby Tam is homeless. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that is uh, not the combo you wanted there. Hey, Charlie. Thank you so much for 18 months. So what I need to do once this is done is I need to start removing these this pollution. And I'm just going to start building in that direction. Just assuming... Go with me on this journey, just assuming that everything is going to be fine. It's right, it's right by all the important stuff, right? It's right next to the burners. That pollution will, that pollution will be gone in no time. I still have these emergency shelters, which is not good. Oh, never mind. We have room for Tam. So he passed away of old age. <laughs> 
Where was Tam at the time of Zoe's death? Yeah, that's fair. <gasps> Cultists. A man approaches the gate dressed in a beaten old trench coat and burying his face inside a large hood. What do you think, chat? He remains tight-lipped about his origins or motives, but offers to join the colony and bring knowledge only few possess these days. Variety Craft says, let him in. Sus, but let him in. The rubber chicken. What if we made them leave the rubber chicken at the door? Could be a wizard. Could be a wizard. We need him. <laughs> Look, there aren't a lot of prop comedians anymore in, in this dystopian world. This could be Carrot Top. Does anybody have proof that this isn't Carrot Top? If he can juggle those bowling pins, we let him in? Yeah. Not swole enough? That's fair. Look, maybe the radiation turned Carrot Top into a blonde. All right. Join us. Join us, oh comedian. Wait. Really? Are you just going to let me in? No one's ever done that. You should really be more careful. But despite his words, the wanderer is impressed by the hospitality. He wanders around the colony for a while and makes up his mind, offering to join. And nothing bad happened. <laughs> Joe's like, who are you? Wait, how do I have so much water right now? Oh, our school got contaminated. Ah, it's probably fine. Assign them to corn duty. <laughs> uh, Jojo. You think there's going to be another event afterwards? No! What could pos- what, what bad could possibly happen from that? Everything's fine. Riley got irradiated? Radiated? That's okay. We have a hospital now. Wait, right. Let's have everyone work here. We could shut down the, these clinics. Nah, it's fine. I'm really disappointed by all this empty space we have in here. I guess I could remove this general storage now. It turns out this general storage kind of sucks. And we could put like another tailor and we could put another tool shop in instead. Wait, what are you? Advanced recycler. I'm out of plastic. Okay, well that's bad. Oh, all right. There's plastic down here. Good. All right. Where's our new warehouse district going to be? I could just move the where. Yeah, let's just move the warehouse over to here, chat. That seems fine. Uh, do I have a burner over here? Yes. And my new advanced burner is doing great. Cool. Um, I could try and make a radiator at some point, but nah. Researching Fortress. Awesome. That'll let us upgrade the gate again. Did I leave a two gap again? It's fine. It's perfect for a, a, a water well. What 
What am I doing? It's fine. I'm tearing those down anyways eventually, right? What's up, Erica? Good to see you, my friend. Got lots of extra shelter space, so let's go ahead and improve these shanties then. I'm out of wood. How did that happen? Oh, I just built a bunch of storage things. That's awkward. Right, of course. Children are born. Construction was finished. Work has begun to pile up. It's a busy day of work and duties. Yet one colonist has oddly stopped working. Is this the person we just let in? No, that person was blonde. Um, you don't get to not work. The man is sternly ordered to stop slacking off and get up. He smirks, but gets on his feet nonetheless and resumes his dirty. Life is in the little things. You'll see eventually, he says before trekking off. The colony seems pleased to have him do his part. Good, everybody's happy. Hey, uh, give me a quick second, friends. Wow, we've been going, oh my god, for three hours already. I haven't taken a break yet. I'm going to get up, I'm going to stretch, I'm going to pee, because I'm doing a pee dance. And I'm going to investigate lunch. Oh no, somebody's frozen. Hold on, where's that happening? Okay, for cold is bad. Cold is bad. Cold is bad. Lunch before life saving? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's think of let's think of me first. Let's think of me first. Oh, geez, we're out of wood. Yeah, this is bad. This is bad. Can I build a radiator? I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna pee. <laughs> I'm gonna take my break. Oh, I'm having a really good time playing this game. All right, friends, uh, give me a quick second. I'll be right back. Stick around.
Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for sticking around. All right, so lunch is going to be showing up in uh, just a second here. So rather than get back into the game and immediately transition to lunch, let's just uh, let's just go to the booth. Let's hang out for a couple minutes because I'm hungry. I'm really enjoying this game, by the way. The fact that I have gone like three straight hours and didn't even notice, I think is indicative of how much fun we're having. All right, let's just call this uh, lunch. Switch to that just chatting category. This game straight eight entire weekends. Yeah. It's interesting because this game isn't necessarily doing anything new. You know what I mean? Like the survival genre or the tech tree or anything, it's there, but it's like every step feels achievable. And as such, since you're always making these very small decisions one after another, time, time just vanishes. Let's put on some tunes. Hello, everybody, and welcome to lunch. How's your day going? How you doing? Yeah. Is this game perfect? Not quite. I, I do find, like, there are some... UI issues, and I do wish the um, the specialists were a little bit more fleshed out. But regardless, it's a good time. It's a very good time. All right, my lunch topic, I'll tell you right now, is the pursuit of the perfect hamburger. I made a burger yesterday, and it was good. It was very good. But I found some shortcomings, specifically when I was making the patty, when I was hand forming the patty. I didn't do a good job of evenly distributing everything inside of it. So when eating the burger, it felt like several very good burgers smushed together as opposed to one perfect burger by itself. So I hope Joe's excited because I'm going to be I'm going to be giving her burgers every other day forever until it's perfect, until we nail it. Hashtag burger squad. Do I use the donut method? What, pray tell, is the donut method? I mean, I think that means no, I don't. <laughs> Just have a lazy day doing nothing? Yeah, that's fair. You're supposed to put a dimple in the middle of the patty in order to ensure the burger doesn't puff up too much in the middle. That wasn't the problem I had. I definitely noticed it didn't puff. Because what I had, what I had was the, um, I had an issue of... I don't know, just not smushing around evenly. You push a little hole in the middle. Like a full hole? That seems wrong. That seems wrong. And do you hide it with cheese? What is this donut method? No, no, no. I need... Link me your documentation. Source? Source? How dare you? That's a meat donut. Thank you, Cushion Dan. The game floundered a bit while trying to figure itself out in early access. It shows in some of the polish. Oh, well, there's some some ideas that show up that are kind of cool, but not necessarily fleshed out, Trayon. Mm. Source my dad. All right. That's kind of funny. I will 100% send you videos on making burgers if you want. I'm pretty confident in my burger. I make a mean burger. I make a very good burger. How dare you? But that's fair. Wait a second. All right. The Burger Lab, how to shape a burger for grilling or broiling. Oh my god, hold on, hold on. Look at this. Soggy bottoms. The bun overhang and the bulgy center are all bad, okay. This develops when the eater is forced to squeeze the buns together in order to compress the patty to a mouth-friendly girth. The bun gap. Burgers leave a large gap before the edge of the bun, requiring the eater to have several meat-deficient bites, despite having carefully measured and sized the patty before cooking. Thickness approaching width. 
The burger bulges in the center, leaving the eater with a shape that's both... Okay. Good bun to burger ratio. Huh. I like that they also cooked burgers that were wrong just to demonstrate here. So you're supposed to slightly depress it there, eh? All you need to do to prevent this from happening is to compensate by shaping your patty a little wider than the bun to begin with. And making a shallow dimple in the center. What is this? Why this works. Hot air. The typical explanation goes something like this. The burger starts cooking. The exterior gets seared. Yeah, I'm with you so far. The interior starts to heat up, forming hot air and steam. Steam and hot air build up. The burger puffs like a balloon. Hot air indeed. That doesn't make sense on several grounds. Why is this puffing business only occurring when the griller boil? Yeah! Yeah! If you pan fry it, it doesn't sear up like that. What causes the bulge and why does it only occur when you grill or broil the patty? How do you battle the bulge? This is a oh my god, how long is this article? This is wild to me. All right, hold on. My, my food is here. Thank you so much, my love. We also got a couple subs. Uh, 99 Problems at Twitch81 has been here for 42 months. The answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. I think 42 also answers why my burger is bulging. Which wasn't the problem, by the way. That wasn't my problem. It was a, uh, it was a distribution of the composition of the burger itself, not the shape. But thank you. Second... Hey, Vegetals! Thank you so much for... 14 months. I see I came in just in time to witness the food prep wars. Yeah. My game got some hints, but again, that wasn't the problem, but sure. Do I mix or just meat? Oh, just meat. Just meat. Am I grinding my own beef? No, but my parents are from Alberta. And if you don't know what that means, because you're not from Canada, um, it's like it's beef and oil country of Canada. So it's good. It's good beef. Alberta beef is considered to be good beef. My parents do this thing where they buy like an entire large section of a cow. Do they buy a cow annually? I was getting there. Yeah. There's also no rats. All right. So Shane knows a thing about Alberta. So Texas. It's the Texas of Canada, Jason. Yeah. They buy an entire cow. And they came to visit September. And when they came to visit, they brought like 60 pounds of beef. So I have all of this very good straight from the cow. I mean, all beef is straight from the cow. But you know what I mean? I have this very good beef that they ground. And so we've got all these little like things of... Oh, I think I know which meme this is, Gunner. Is it the Alberta beef one? Gah! I did that for a good cause! And there you are taking pictures of me out of context. <laughs> oh, Gunner. Lost my train of thought. I have very good ground beef. I have very good ground beef. Mixing different cuts, apparently putting it back through the grinder can help even the distributed. No, 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 this is, this is well, this is well grounded beef. I don't know why I'm doing this for ground beef. This apparently is surge hand language for ground beef. Anyways, pizza. Big part of Alberta culture is just having a freezer somewhere full of beef. Yeah. Fun fact, the reason Canadian and Alberta beef is so good because almost all beef in Canada is grass-fed for most of its life and then only grain-fed for fattening. Neat. Yeah, I've never tried making like a mixed patty with the beef. Typically, it's just beef and I put a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt and pepper on it while I wait. And then you cook it. And we use, um, we use fancy... 
fancy. We use Balderson cheddar. Nice sharp cheddar for our cheeseburger. We're feeling really fancy. We go and we get that good bacon, that good butcher bacon and put it on. Mm. But the issue I had is when I was forming the patties, I didn't, I didn't manage to get it into like one consistent texture. So there's like cracks and bits. And so because there were, there were weaknesses, it didn't cook evenly throughout. And again, it was great. It was a very solid burger. I give it a B plus, but it could have been better. It could have been better. I'm not surprised to learn, though, that chat has opinions on hamburgers. Actually, I'm curious. For those of you in chat, who here likes 100% beef patties and who here likes a mixture of patties? So you can put like... um. You can thick, you can spread it with egg and all kinds of stuff, right? Like, do you make a burger patty closer to a meatloaf by putting other stuff into it? You know what I'm saying? It depends on the burger. Mm. I prefer 100% beef and then put an egg on top of it. Are you Australian by any chance? I never really encountered egg on burger until I went to Australia. I just want it properly cooked. Contents are less of that. I also like the vegetarian. You're Scottish. Hmm. One of the best burgers I've ever had. I had a sunny side egg on top of it. It was awesome. You've never had a breakfast burger? I mean, no. <laughs> but I don't know. I just never really, never really encountered a lot of egg on burger before. Actually, you know what's amazing on hamburgers? Grilled pineapple. When we were in Hawaii years ago, years and years ago, there's, um, yeah, God, Hawaiian cooking is delicious to begin with. But yeah, pineapple hamburger. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, Sky? Grilled pineapple, some teriyaki sauce, chef kiss. Mm -mm. Missed your question. It's good. Chat's going pretty fast. Also, if it's not burger talk, I'm just sticking to burger talk right now. Is pineapple on burger more or less controversial than pineapple on pizza? I think pineapple on pizza is just a meme. By the way, there's pineapple on my pizza. Pineapple just gets the internet mad. Yeah. No, grilled pineapple's amazing. Even those fancy, what's it called? What's that meat place that you sit down and you have a red light, green light? And if you have a green light, they just come by and they just like have meat and they keep giving you meat. And then when you do red light, you can like cry. <laughs> yeah, Fogo de Chao. What's the name of that type of restaurant though? Brazilian Steakhouse. Perfect. Even Brazilian Steakhouse has... Uh, as grilled pineapple as one of their options, right? Big part of the pineapple debate is the fact that pizza is shared, but burgers are not. All right, I can see that. 
I mean, you can do a half and half pizza, right? Like that old meme, what was it? Uh, Non-pizza, meat right, or whatever that old school pizza meme was. Yeah, just get a nun pizza with left pineapple. It'll be perfect. Nun pizza left beef. Amazing. One of my favorite burgers is chicken. I don't know what chicken schnitty is. With gravy and chips on a bun. Amazing. I also don't know what you mean by chips because you're in Australia. See, I have so much to unpack here. I don't know what a schnitty is and I don't know what Australian uh, chips are. Oh, it's chicken schnitzel with gravy and chips on a bun. Fascinating. I don't know if chips to you are french fries or potato wedges or if chips are like Lay's potato chips or something like that, right? You can't use the definition of a word in the word. Australian chips are actual chips. I don't know what chips are in that context. Where are you based out of? Chips or I am are are the I don't I can't use the word chips to describe it right now. Are the flat things? <laughs> Crisps? Thick fries. Okay. Schnitzel, gravy, and thick cut fries in a hamburger. Fascinating. Yeah, cut up potatoes doesn't work either because that works for both. Yeah. I think the sandwich that I missed the most... Sonote used to have this um, barbecue blue cheese fried chicken sandwich. And it was like my number one favorite thing to eat in the entire city. And they took it off the menu and I haven't stopped crying. Never had to try and explain chips before. That was a lot for 7.30 a.m. brain. Sorry to that. Good morning, Australia, by the way. Oh, man. You know what I haven't had in ages, too? Because Basil's talking about it right now. I haven't had a double down. I think I've only had one double down in my entire life. The double down, if you don't know, is a, is a chicken sandwich that KFC offers. That's... Two pieces of fried chicken as the bread, and I think it has, like, bacon and cheese in the middle. It's very good. What's my favorite kind of pizza? I tend to favor meat pizzas. I mean, I'm eating a barbecue bourbon chicken right now, which is very good. I don't want to call it my favorite. If I'm going for Neapolitan-style pizza, I really like a salsiccia. So, like... Um, um, salsicha ground sausage and like basil or basil however you pronounce it put some like peppers and oil on it we're going for just like greasy diner, diner pizza I can't go wrong with a pepperoni you know Yeah, I've only ever had one double down. I feel like I should have more. I also realized we haven't had fast food. I haven't had like an A&W or Wendy's burger since the pandemic started. God, I could go for a Baconator one of these days.
All right, I think it's time to make the internet mad. My favorite fast food burger ranked. It's probably tied first place between Wendy's and A&W. Got a Philly cheesesteak pizza. Philly cheesesteak pizza. See, I don't know if I'd, I don't know if I'd like that. I don't know if I like beef on pizza. I don't have we don't have we don't have five guys where we are though. I don't know if I've ever had five guys burgers. Those aren't the worst. Yeah. I think if you're talking about the worst burger, I think McDonald's is pretty low at the bottom. But they have the best fries, so. Big Wheel and Five Guys are comparable? Yeah, fair enough. But I wouldn't call Big Wheel fast food. I don't know. That's like calling... Um... Oh, what's that super famous drive-in? Paul? No. I'm, I, I'm confusing Paul's Motor Inn with the, the really famous milkshake drive-in in Calgary. Any Calgarians here? Not in and out, no. Peter's Drive-In. Peter's Drive-In in Calgary on 16th Ave. Like, I wouldn't call that fast food. I don't know. Like, the old iconic individually owned drive-in, I think, does it, it stands outside of that. When I call about fast food, I'm talking specifically about, like, the big franchises, right? Wendy's currently has a bourbon barbecue bacon cheeseburger. Interesting. It's a lot of words to say. Wait, they have Peter's Drive-Ins in Edmonton and Red Deer now, too? Wild. If you live in Victoria and you're looking for a really good, like, greasy spoon style burger, try Burger Crush. They started as a food truck and they have a location downtown in Victoria too. They're really good. It's a type of place where, you know, when you put the cheese on top of the burger and then it melts over the edge and you get that really good, like, crusty burnt cheese around the side. Mm. Oh, yeah. They have a vegan burger too? Cool. For a while, the Taco Justice food truck and Burger Crush were like across from each other. And it was the hardest decision of the summer. I was like, oh God, burger or taco? Burger or taco? Ah! <laughs> okay, I'm done my pizza. They still are. So I'm going to wash my hands and then... Um, you think that's enough burger talk? You ready to go back to video games? How you doing there, friends? Decide amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. Bunch of people say they just came here for burger talk. Oh man. No, no canal. <laughs> canal, canal was never an option. He doesn't want to talk about burgers anymore. Hey, real talk really quickly. I, I don't know. I really appreciate that. I can just have a lunch break on stream and we can just chill and we can chat and it's fun. And, and that, like, my viewership doesn't tank when that happens. Because that's a very real fear, right? Is that, like, y'all are just here for the game and that happens. So, so thank you so much. 
for just being chill. Is that not a normal thing? No, a lot of streamers are afraid to eat lunch on stream. It is like they'll go six plus hours and have nothing and no snack. And sometimes people can be like, oh, God, you're a human being and you eat? Disgusting, right? So uh, I'm pretty lucky to have all of you. So thank you for that. That's right. You tried to meme about canals and I made it real talk. And then there's mukbang streamers. Yeah, but they don't count. They're a statistical anomaly. Just like IRL streamers, I don't understand how they do it. Music. Goodbye. Music. Paused. Streamers just want one thing and it's disgusting. We just want to be treated like people. Ugh. Fetid. <laughs> they just want lunch. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I hit this button. All right, good. We're back to a town that has no wood and is slowly freezing to death. Fantastic. Fantastic. How did this happen? Right. I decided in the middle of winter to make two giant storage rooms. I should probably destroy one of these. Uh, and that'll get me 50 wood back. Actually, no, I'm going to cancel both of these so I don't die. Please take that wood and turn it into a burner. It's all, I don't ask for much. S'more cookies or lemon pound cake? Lemon pound cake. Easy. Sylvia has died of old age. Rip Sylvia. I knew she well. Are you generating heat? You are. Okay, good. I think I'm making heat. I don't think these are off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're fine. Somebody was just cold and I don't know why. A trade coin for you has arrived. Oh, my wood is here. Great. So we got 400 wood now. <laughs> Maybe we build some storage things. Uh, what is this? Scavenging complete. Awesome. So go here and heal up. Hey, Ordsmed, thank you so much about seven months. Is this generating heat? Oh, the subs help. Subs definitely help. All right, let's go back and grab our fighters. It's time to go kick some more banded butt. Yep. What's up? Let's get a new friend here. Who are you? You are a scavenger. I think we're going to take Jomad here, and we're going to hire them, and we're going to basically turn them into... Immediate other thing. I like that plan. Is this Frostpunk without the Ufas? Kind of? There's less survival, which is kind of neat. Like, the amount of times that things actually get scary like this is not nearly as bad. Do I make a scavenger outpost? So... Maybe... I could start scavenging in these boxes of whatever, right? Actually, let me go get that fuel first. What's up? Your orders? Okay. Let's just go get let's just go actual scavenge some stuff real quick here. My scout is grabbing these, which is rad. Uh what is the apocalypse? Um uh, space bunch of asteroids came and wrecked a bunch of stuff and then while people were trying to survive they fought with each other and yeah things should have been fine and then they got bad things should have been fine though originally oh you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the scavenger is gonna go get these uh iodine pills because those are really important they do mention a specific disaster um which is like literal asteroids started coming and the moon shattered and like a space thing was bad and then they all fought each other for the scraps. So it's a bunch of compounding disasters. Also, the moon blew up. God, I, don't you hate it when the moon, the moon explodes? Of course. Your orders? Ready. Not going to happen. Yes. Engaging hostile. All right. <laughs> Engaging hostile. Pardon me. So we're going to do a warm-up fight here. We're going to kill the Wolfgang. 
And then from the Wolfgang, we're going to then kill the final tribunal here. Hey, what's up, Monkus B. Funky? Thank you so much for that prime in 40 months. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> what do you mean zero shelter space? That's impossible. Two right here. It's kind of cool. Sure, let's go ahead and do that now. Nope. <clears throat> I can put a burner right there. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I can make a sauna now? Causes pollution and requires water? What? Why does a sauna cause pollution, chat? It doesn't make sense to me. Sweaty people? Body odor? Yeah, it's got that stank. That's for sure. Alright, um, you're all cured up? No. What is what what is it that I was supposed to? Right away. Oh, now you can chill in there, you can heal. Okay. All right, we got all that medicine, which is very exciting. I could just keep exploring, though. Then we could always take that car and get out after. Okay, so what I'm learning is I probably don't want to make my uh, my sauna right here, right next to my hospital, eh? Because it makes pollution. That kind of bums me out. Victoria is still hypothermic? How? How are you so cold? How haven't you learned to stop being cold? You don't build them until you have the upgrade anyways? Okay, that's fair. Oh, speaking of upgrade, I should be able to... I'm um, researching the fortress now. I should be able to upgrade the gate again after this. I don't have any entertainment options yet. Ah. We were thinking about that, weren't we? The radar. There are survivors at the gate. Wait, survivors are here. Hold on. I have room for six people. How many are there? Ragged six people? I mean, oh, and they have corn. Oh, I mean, that's that's worth its weight in money right there. But more children? Ah, it's fine. I'm just excited about that corn. Come on in! We've reached a milestone. Almost Metropolis? Oh, I have 100 people. Cool. Clear all pollution? Cool. Corn, more like yellow gold. That's right, Texas tea. Job done. Can I ever find anything that isn't just bandit camps? Like this wasteland's looking like kind of a mess, eh, chat? <clears throat> Should explore more of the map? We'll get there in due time. Problem is I have all these precious points and I want to do like food and stuff. Wow, I'm almost finished the entire safety tree. Are you kidding me? Wow, I can almost start making medicine. That's wild. 
So that's what you're talking about. Because we can make the sauna, we can make a steam room. Advances in technology allows us to be an environmentally friendly option and doesn't create any pollution. Aha! You know what? Let's uh, let's go ahead and tell these people that uh, they can have a sauna after. A little sauna as a treat, right? Did I get the first governance and not apply it? I have no idea. Look, I just kind of clicked on um, Fortress and ignored it. Medical center, weapon crafting. No? Where is the first governance upgrade? Oh yeah, I skipped it. I skipped leadership. Should I do that? Ah, whatever. Sure. Let's 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 queue it up. And let's get some more storage. No, Victoria froze to death. How dare you? I didn't give you permission to die. All right, that's maybe a little grim. One spare bed currently. We've made a new discovery. Did we? Oh, the fortress is done. Awesome. Let's upgrade. So that costs us nothing. Ooh, look at that chat. Max is irradiated. Uh-oh. Somebody get Max some chems. Wait, why is it going shelving first? Does the Q not know multiple buildings? Is this queued after that? Because I definitely had that queued after leadership, right? And after steam room as well. I'm really confused. Yeah, okay. You're only allowed one queue. Don't like that. Don't like that. Specialist healed. Cool. All right, now give me a second here. That means everyone here should be able to fight these bandits together. All right, what are the odds? I think the odds are pretty good that we're going to win this fight. Alright, uh, did I get any entertainment done? I can't remember. What's this? No. Waste dump. Cookhouse. We have bandits at the gate. Bandits? It's a good thing I just upgraded our gate, eh? Hello? Bandits arrive at the gate. They you get nothing. Weak, but taking... <clears throat> We've made a new oh my god. <laughs> uh, I think we won. Wow. Our new maxed out gate is kind of OP. Alright. So where's the next closest, most dangerous pollution? That's not great. <clears throat> I think it might be around our fishing here. Why isn't anyone clearing that waste? How dare you? People are trying their hardest right now. <clears throat> Gotta be supportive. We're a team. The hostiles were defeated. Alright, let's click on my scientist there. Okay. Okay. 
Everyone else, let's go. I've been driving all night, my hands wet on the field. Been doo -doo -doo. Last call to cast, here I go. Oh, they have guns. They have very good guns. Mission complete. All right. We only have four infections. It's fine. We have a hundred antibiotics and we have an entire hospital now. Look at this. We have a bunch of people working here. We have a bunch of people working here too. We've reached a milestone. Yeah. What is eco-friendly? Eco-friendly. Clean five pollution deposits. Cool. All right. I think the new area we clear is here. <clears throat> So this poor fishing place can stop being just an utter wasteland. And uh, we did it! We survived the cold again. I think I have to move this, which is really unfortunate. We're going to have to make another row of houses here. Where did that go? What is the name of that building? That building is called the... Hello? Oh my goodness. How can I not find it? Water collector? No. Recycler, scrapper, lumber yard. It's like the repair facility, right? Maintenance depot. Oh my goodness. All right. So I need three of these now. No. Are you kidding me? It doesn't fit again? Heartbreaker. There. Sorry, is there just a body just kind of sitting there? That's grim. Ooh, look at these. <clears throat> so pretty. Bottle tree. We have lanterns and braziers now. My goodness. Uh, hello? The heck was that? Anyways, that's where the apocalypse came from, for those of you who are asking. <clears throat> came from the sky. So, let's look into some entertainment options here, because uh, my people... <clears throat> my people aren't that happy. Right, that's because my options are like punch or whatever. So, I could take them down the remembrance route. Oh, that gets me to proper burial, which actually seems kind of kind of important. Or I could take them in the cage fight. I, I don't love that the number one entertainment form, though, is like pit fighting. I just, I don't want it. I don't want it. So let's do, let's do a shrine instead. <clears throat> yeah, no, uh, no Tina Turner chat. Only, only you can prevent Tina Turner. Going. Yep. Showtime. Get in that fight. Come on, take him down. 
Just pretend they're professional wrestlers. Oh, you want me to create WWE after the apocalypse? Interesting. How do y'all feel about that? <clears throat> this is super realistic. Just like in real life, you can't build a botanical garden without blood sports. How else are you going to water all those plants, right? <clears throat> Ah. Crap. What day is it? Today's the 27th. I have a bruise letter I need to write. How do I keep forgetting that? All right. So y'all want y'all want some WWE action in here? Fine, fine. I'll give you I'll give you some of the greatest entertainers the world has ever seen. Remembering those, a memorial allows the people to light a candle for the fallen. Okay. Alright, we want no food in here. What do these store? Alright, we want no basic things in here either. No tools, no clothing. <clears throat> Mouse over the boxes in the top right of the UI for a second. This? Oh, that's where fiber was this whole time. No way. I was looking for where the fiber UI was and I had no idea. I'm actually like legit kind of upset about that. I'd been asking people for hours where it would show me if we had any fiber. Hours. <clears throat> Okay, so real talk. We've made a new discovery. What? Real talk. Wait, I have to go to the specialist real quick here. We won the battle. We won the battle. Good stuff. Hey, 800 science? Yo. Don't mind if I do. All right, you go heal. Not going to yes. happen. Okay. Yes. You go heal. You go grab these. You won't die, will you? You go grab these. Okay. Good stuff. What I want to know is where do people even find all that coagulated steel for building? <laughs> I. What are you talking about? There's just a whole piles of metal just scrap metal just sitting there look at that and it's all made out of exactly that metal <laughs> and we can turn it into anything else <clears throat> oh wait i think i'm starting to run low on toilets our, our golden ratio hold on hold on must make more toilet i think i'm actually going to destroy these toilets There we go. Are there toilet upgrades? Yes, they go from uh, outhouses to toilets that have plumbing. Two scavengers are bickering. One of them has decided to start fasting for spiritual reasons. But the other doesn't think that's fair toward the colony. The spiritual man should work more later? Oh my God. So the accuser says the spiritual person shouldn't be allowed to fast because it hurts their productivity. The spiritual man says they should be allowed to fast. We can tell them that they have to make up their missed hours later. I'm going to say, you know what? You express your faith however you want to, friend. 
The accuser is told that even though it might not seem fair, it's important that everyone is allowed to practice their spiritual beliefs. The colony gets minus 12? Wow. I like that I picked the tolerant option. And uh, I got I got in trouble. All right, we're out of metal there. That doesn't feel good. Checkmate atheists. Ufa and or Dufa. Balance minus 22. Okay, that's bad. Let's get some more power down here. We have a couple more of these batteries. I could start making wind turbines. They're really expensive though. Can make exactly two wind turbines. Let's try a wind turbine farm over here. <clears throat> Imagine the other option would have been negative as well. Yeah, probably. How are we doing here? What's this? 57? I think it's about time for us to sell some more gar Oh, wait. I'm low on... I have no more plants yet. All right. Let's go ahead and harvest some of these right now. Just because I have no veggies to eat. Hazel's an adult. Specialist is done. Harvesting all them tools. Anything more I could grab? I really need to do a... Um... Do I? Some kind of drop-off? Yeah, some kind of drop off is probably not a bad idea. Okay. Great. You know, we found uh we found somebody who's willing to open up a new spot for us to drop things off, right? Right. Wait, hold on. Who's a better scientist here? So this scientist is a better scavenger. Oh, I can't actually tell who's better here. The scientist has a gun. The scientist has a, is a better scavenger. Maybe we turn... Uh, maybe we turn... Who's this? Bjork! Oh, no. I love Bjork. All right. Who... Um, who becomes our next... Our next settler chat? Bjork or uh, Joe Kim over here? Well, that's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> the stats. So, uh, Bjork has better gun. And then Joe Kim has better scavenge and better recovery. Otherwise, they have the same AP and the same research. So what do we value more? Keep the better scavenger? The bald guy is worse. Interesting. Treyon and Chris, the two people I have in chat who have the most experience, or at least who have said that, are, are, are conflicted over which one is worse. Neat. Well, this one can fight. And this one can scavenge. You never send science into a fight, but you do send them into a scavenge. Well, if you never send them into a fight, then you want Bjork. You want to turn Bjork into the scavenger. The bald guy is the is the better scavenger, the worst fighter. Wait, then I'm wrong. So then you both say that Bjork, we keep Joe Kim and we send Bjork out. All right, Bjork. Yes. So. Here's my question. We have a couple of options here. One, um, I could start collecting happiness resources. Make them a scavenger over here. 
So I have a health camp for all the fighting we had to do, and I'm pretty happy with that. So we're probably going to go fight this afterwards. What else after that? Um, the only resource we're collecting so far is these radioactive jackets. Maybe maybe we should start getting the fun boxes. Yeah, let's start let's start bringing some fun boxes home. Consider it done. Because we want to start making luxury, and I currently only have seventeen. Wait, we have a bajillion science right now. Oh, we're we're, we're working on it. Okay. Wow, the memorial takes 15 fun boxes? That's an oofa doofa. So anyways, I have water and I have power here, but I also need more clothing and more tools. So I'm kind of tempted to actually double these first. We do this. Now what we have here is we have a cozy little alleyway area. Three, we have a three by three right there, which is kind of cool. When you make a scavenger outpost, you like clothes and or tools, then guns, mostly just to sell, then fun boxes, and then fun electronics. Wait, a colonist is acting weird. One of the a healthy glow. I checked the water. The woman is shocked. Now they have rad sickness, but that's fine. We got there. How could we possibly have people who are unhappy with us, chat? I don't understand. That's statistically unlikely. Everyone has an amazing home by now, don't they? There shouldn't be anyone who's living in the emergency shelters. Wait, why are there people living in the emergency shelters? Does it make sense? Oh, right. Okay. So, I have nobody cleaning the toilets currently. So need a radar at some point. One more maintenance depot. Just keep making them. Do shanties have a happiness penalty? No, I'm picking shanties because they're neutral. The tents have the penalty. But as soon as I make the improved shanty, then they're happy. Go get that fun box. On it. Outpost is now complete. <laughs> What's up, Hosk? Missed the start. Was it an emergency? There. Will I sing you shanties? No, but if you did miss it, uh, I got hilariously and wonderfully owned on stream uh, by the Longest Johns, who said they'll play, when the next Valheim update comes out, they'll play with me. That's the closest you'll get to, like, shanties on this stream, is people who are better singers than me performing it instead. Which is, like, super heckin' flattering as well. Got fully senpai Yeah. I was talking smack about the Longest Johns. Very gently, by the way. Not like, not like for real. And then <laughs> they were in chat watching the stream and they're like, what's that now? And I'm like, oh God. All right. Well then, uh, don't mind me. I'm just going to go walk directly into the sea right now.
What's happening? Y'all are healed? Is that what's happening here? No, you're healed. Go get those guns. So here's a question, chat. I have one field hospital, and I also have two medical clinics, but I'm starting to run low on carriers. I only have two carriers because I have checks notes. 20 children! Should I destroy these medical tents now that I have a field hospital is my question. Oh, can I please put the brawl pit directly across the street from the school? That sounds incredible. Just pause them and reactivate them until later. That's fair. That's actually a really good call. There's a medical emergency. We can get them later. Yeah. So where does the brawl pit go? Oh, I think it has to go right near all of our housing, right? Wait, can I fit it right here between the braziers or the Bernie bits? What do you think of a brawl pit right there? Or I can put the brawl pit right next to all the cook shacks. Originally, I wanted to go here, but because I have power and water there, I should probably save this for something more valuable. Similarly, I could probably move this uh, water storage out. Wait, lumber yard can get upgraded? To what? To a sawmill? Makes it more efficient. Brawl pit next to the snack pack here. Go get your food after. I kind of love that. Biggest problem with the brawl pit is having to change it when the cards rotate. Boo. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Brawl pit's going here. And then you know what? Um, Wait. I don't have enough resources for this. 80 wood? What's happened to all my wood? Oh, am I burning it all still? That's a mistake. Uh, I also don't have any more plastic to harvest. Never mind. Pardon me. Got some more radiation I can sell them, which is always exciting. We have a surplus of power. I'm starting to run low on components, though. Did I go back and actually get that government's building? I don't know if I did. Yes, I did. All right. How much? How expensive is that to upgrade? Oh, it's free! Fast scouting speed, larger area than the campsite, moderate colony map scouting. Okay. That's exciting. Okay. So we're building the Thunderdome there. We just need more wood is the issue I'm having, right? Beware of sandworms. Nah, we're fine. I've only killed like two sandworms. Encountered and killed, sorry. Right, I made another one there, didn't I? That needs to cover the toilets. There we go, which means this one can go up here just a little bit. There. Got a bunch of parts. Yeah, I may as well just run those home now. Okay. What's up? Oh, I forgot to rename Joe Kim. 
All right, this is going to be the only person who breaks the... Uh, just because it's too funny not to. Yeah. All right, Joe, you're in. The only other Joe we have. Idling? What are you doing just standing there for? The heck, man? So you want me to check for sandworms? Nothing hostile. Joe E. Kim? Nah, nah, nah. It's fine. We're going to put our friend's name in. Let's just do it properly, right? As the map expands, you can see your progress from the scouting site. I don't quite know what that sentence means. Oh, that's kind of cool. So scouted 69%. So it doesn't actually seem to be going too much further beyond where I'd already gotten with scout towers, right? But that's neat. Wow, this place is so dirty again. <laughs> There's uh, somebody randomly in chat called RayFK who's suggesting uh, Joe Ardan. I, it's... It's neat. I don't know if it scans, though. I don't know if it scans. We're looking for, you know, realistic names. Hey, bud. How you doing? Mean-looking group at the gates. Hello? A heavily armored truck screeches to a halt by the gate. We're on a hunt and need supplies. Hand them over and no one gets hurt. Or... Or... Wait. Wait a second. Have it your way. He gestures to the group. They open fire on the colonists. What? What do you mean I can't fight back? Hold on. Why do I just take 30 there? That sucked. All done. I don't like that. Consider it done. I don't like that one bit. Why do we even have this murder gate? That event was terrible. All right, we have 22 children, 14 of whom now get to go to school. That's exciting, right? <clears throat> I haven't actually made the Thunderdome yet because I don't have enough wood. Which is a little bit of a problem. Joseph passed away of old age. I feel like I might need to make a third wood camp at this point. <clears throat> what is consuming everything? This is the worst. I don't even have enough corn to sell. Make another bigger farm crop here. It's not great, actually. Not without going into my uh, important area there. A forester and a sawmill is a more efficient way to get wood. What did I... Am I not building a... Oh, wait, a lumber mill. Which one is this? A forester? What's a forester? You can replant them? Yo, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Where the heck did this come from? This is new. This is new. This is new and didn't exist prior to this moment. I'd been asking for so long how to plant trees. It's a starting tech? Nah, you're lying. I'd, I'd asked like 17 times. 
You can't tell me things that I asked for and nobody helped me with are starting tech. I refuse. I refuse to accept that. Okay. Um. Mission complete. Check. All right. I need a new area here. God, I, I really wish I could zoom out further. The like mouse wick, the mouse wheel to zoom out, but then go to the map view is not great. So I have power over here, which means I kind of want to do a combination tree plant chop chop right here. Where I already have power, if that makes sense, right? So why don't I just do that? So what we're going to do... And I'm going to destroy the other ones. Do you think I need one or two? Like, what's a good ratio for this? You want it near fertile soil? You mean like this? One step ahead of you, Treyon. One step ahead of you. One sawmill per forester. Okay. So I probably want, I probably want two, right? I probably want two foresters and two sawmills. Can I place the the circle somewhere I'm not immediately at? I probably want it to be pretty close, though. So I'm thinking like this, right? And I'm going to put the two sawmills here in the yellow soil. And I'm just going to put, like, the circles all right there. And the two lumber mills are going to go right there. Right, this is the view. One, two, three. I can put a burner right there now. I do this. I don't have to constantly keep chopping down trees, chat. I'm so excited. Except... God, this is going to cost me a lot of wood to build. Uh, can I do a trade? What else do I have? Yeah, I can trade junk and fiber, I guess. And pollution. Or, let me harvest all my crops. I feel like I should maybe get another large field down. Yeah, right there. Right there. So once this is done... More survivors? How are we doing? We got room for some. Tell me about yourselves, survivors. Bunch of children. Ooh, but they have milk and candy. I mean, I can't say no to milk and candy. Wait, one of them turned hostile. Uh -huh. what you need? How dare. You could start ranching instead of adding another farm. I don't have ranches yet. I'd have to buy animals. This is fun. <clears throat> Besides, I don't have a surplus of my precious cash crops. That's the problem right now. Ooh, what's this? Wait, is this the same territory? So hold on, if I put a thing in here, would I get both? Because this is one territory, right? So this is, seems like a pretty high value place to have a uh, scavenger outpost. That is a super lucky find. Well. All right. I need to do a little bit of trading here. Do 
just need a way to harvest these crops. Automatic weapons are even worth more than corn. Blasphemy! How dare you? How dare you try and sully the good name of corn? Nothing is more valuable than corn. If that's wrong, I don't want to be right. More than corn. There's a new quest of it. Robin died of old age. Ooh, the drilled well is done. Lucas is now an elder. All right, all right, okay. Population, or pardon me, pollution depleted. You love to see it. <clears throat> you love to see it. Wait, did I get all this wood done? Not even close. Got a bunch of guns. And how you doing there? You're almost ready to head back to the colony? How are you doing? You got a bunch of gears. All right, you have gears and you're hurting. Sure thing. Oops. Yes. Yes. All right. Is there anything else I can grab uh -huh. with you before you head back? You know what? Not really. Whatever. Just take, just take it all back. How are you doing? You're going to go back and... Uh, Joshka here, our scientist, sure is going to go become a um, a settler so we can grab, or was it this? Grab this. Colonist under attack. Oh, by an enormous bear? How may I help you? Shoot, reporting in. Yep. All right. Go save them. This is unacceptable. The landworm. I don't know if that's what I'd describe a bear as. Oh my goodness, and there's all kinds of rat beetles and stuff here too. Ready. Go kill them beetles. Did I try sending over an even bigger bear? No. Oh, a new quest is available. A rumor about a local notorious band. All right, we've already had that quest before, but that's fine. Oh crap! Little uh, little joke there, because those are outhouses that weren't upgraded into being toilets. I don't have enough water. Oh, that's empty. Oh, that's terrible news. Yeah, my everything's out of everything again. It's fine. We're fixing this problem. We're fixing this problem. Wait, that's my tool shop. Where is my wood thing?
All right, it's time to do a little bit of trading here. And ideally, we can buy some wood. And I believe Dead Creek sells wood. Nope. I believe... Where's the UI I can bring up to trade with everybody? Nobody has wood to trade? How is this possible? There we go. Let's trade. For you, for, just because you're my best friend, I have this amazing deal for you. Where is it? 100 pieces of nuclear waste. I know. I know. I shouldn't have. But... It's because I'm that kind. It's because I'm that kind. And uh, what else? What else should we do here? Look at that. They're even happy to sell me the firewood. Bottom right of the map UI is how you trade. Thank you. Let's sell some fiber here as well. Sell uh, 285. Ah, 385. We'll keep 100 for ourselves. And shiles, I'm also going to sell some junk. Because I don't know what to do with it for right now. And I, I have a lot of metal left. So let's sell the junk. I'd like to sell exactly 406, please. Stop it. 406. Oh, you can use the arrow keys. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. And then that nets me 700. Plus I have some stuff there. Do I want sunflower seeds? Let's me start generating oil. I don't care about oil yet. I don't have um, poultry stuff unlocked. So I'm not too worried about it. I could buy science. And that would also increase our rep. Sure, why not? We'll buy all of their science too. So I'm netting 100 gold or whatever this is. The junk goes in the trunk as it should. There, we're netting a bit of money here too. Oh, I didn't get any components. Ah, that's fine. All right, there we go. Confirm. That increases our relations. Excellent. Hello, my love. Make me coffee. I'm so lucky. All right, we'll finish all this wood stuff in a little bit. <laughs> Eventually. Uh, Eventually, it'll all be done, right? I also need to upgrade this, don't I? Oh, it doesn't cost wood. Haha. -ha! Oh, it costs components though. Heck and butts. Heck and or butts even. Mm. Sounds good. Uh, I could get some more there. Do I have a scavenger? Yo, Joe Mad. Oh, wait, sorry. Um, aren't we turning Jomad? Okay, I have an important question for you, chat. I have Jomad. Jomad can do one of two things. Jomad can go and scavenge these 48 components, which is going to be great, right? And then those components will let us finish our sawmills. Or Jomad can become a settler and can go to this super high primo area right here and start getting us guns and tools forever. So, or they could do both. They could do one and then the other as well, right? How may I help? Of course. Which you think is more important? Short-term electronics, long-term tools. The issue is I can't set up my forever wood without it. Scientist was going to do that? Uh, I think the scientist already did? I don't know. Oh, I forgot. We already did that. Do both? Sure. All right. All right. 
All right, Joe Mad. Your orders. I need you to get those. Where'd they go? I need you to get those. There's a car up north. Yeah, I haven't really found a use for cars yet. You can take the car and hustle back. All right, I've got 1600 science and I should probably use some of that for some stuff. That's kind of cool. Just heal faster. That is good coffee. No, oh, rats! Oh, am I chopping down like the two trees that are there? Amazing. Whatever. I need more wood. May as well, may as well do your job while you're at it. Hey, good night, Trayon. God, I'm so wood poor right now. Okay. All right, so let's see how fast these work here. How long does it take a tree to plant, I guess? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that's a perfectly fertile area. Give them a day or two before they harvest, just to let it kind of get ahead. Well, I have trees there already, right? Like... Or I guess what I can do is... There. Oh, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Started playing Timberborn, which I'm quite enjoying. Need some sort of goal, though. That was one of the, probably the only issue I had with it. I found that game super cozy, and I had a really, really good time. But I found that after a certain point, the survival part wasn't particularly challenging. You can make some really pretty builds in Timberborn, but... Yeah, if you weren't setting an internal goal, you kind of start running out of things to do. Oh, I know what I want. I want underground... I want to mine for things. I want to be mining for... Plastic. I don't know why, but that, that idea is just really cool for me. Industrial mining. There we go. Colonists are infected, but the good news is doctors in town. Have I heard of the long dark? Yep, I played a bunch of the long dark too. I think I could probably get rid of this water storage here now. We've made a new discovery. Sorry, which specialist is ready for which action? Mission complete. 
Hey, there we go. Some more iodine pills. My pleasure. Don't mind if I do. Have I finished it since story mode? No, 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 no. I played it, God, years ago. I last played The Long Dark in like... Heck, when would it have been? Very long time ago. Very, very, very long time ago. Yeah, like well before the story mode. Could be neat. Wait, you're literally playing the long dark while you're watching Rock Pusher? Nice. In a galaxy far, far away. The story mode was kind of disappointing. Game's probably significantly different than you remember. Might be worth checking back out at some point. That could be fun. We could add it to our backlog of uh, streams to uh, games to stream. It's like a really good chilly winter game. So uh, we talked about this a little bit on stream, but Joe and I aren't heading back during the holidays, which means, which means, there is a good chance of us uh, looking for some like cozy, some cozy holiday games to stream, right? I just made a bunch of people homeless. Whatever. What about Pathfinder Kingmaker? I don't think that's the sort of game I'm going to want to stream. Feels like TTRPGs. What's your problem? Advanced Recycler. Right, right, right. That was deliberate. Not sure you described the long dark as cozy. Ah, it can be. Those moments. Oh, Joe said it was really stressful. Okay. Long dark isn't a good stream game. Why is oh Pathfinder? Yeah. Well, that's not true. I mean, Co Carnage has streamed the Pathfinder games. Got like ten thousand people watching. I mean, I think one of the biggest streamers on Twitch would beg to differ. That will be insufferable on builds and stuff. I mean, the mods are perfectly capable of uh, timing folks out if the back seating gets too heavy. All right, there we go. We got some trees. We got some trees. Are we ready to go for infinite wood now? Is it fight pit time? It might be fight pit time. That's that's fair. We've made a new discovery. All right, let's get that fight pit down. Get. Let's slap that that down, and then let's also slap down two more cooking restaurants because I'm realizing that starting to run a little bit low on our cooked food, right? Can't quite keep up. I think I also need to get another uh, another hunting cottage thing. Now remember, chat, it's not blood sports. This is WWE. It's all kayfabe. We say it's blood sports because, of course, you know, we want there to be stakes and stuff like that. But that's all in the kayfabe, right? Right, right? Nothing wrestling fans like more than snacks? Yeah. This is extreme coffee pong? Mmm. Wait, big business. Hello? A big colorful van. So full of goods it's creaking under its own weight. Has driven up to the gate. A man steps out smiling ear to ear. Good day! 
No need to be alarmed, I'm a simple trader in search of business. Everything's for sale, take a look. All right, I can give you 50 meat. For 50 meat, I get 25 tools. Uh, I don't know if I want to sell food right now. I'm a little scared, little scared. So what else do you have? Oh, wait. I could buy food, crap. I really wanted to buy those uh, components, but I don't have any wood right now. I could give them gears for more food. I'm a little low on food, honestly. I don't really need gears yet, so let's let's do that just to be safe. Uh, question about hunting shacks. I wonder if I can stack them on top of each other, or, or else that's bad. Like, what if, what if I do this? Oh, they can both be 100%? Yo, that means I can get another hunt shack down. You know what really grinds my gear? More food? No, not nuclear fallout. Crap. I was just trying to make my people healthier. Uh, harvest. Harvest. What was that noise? Harvest. Man, all this radiation. Am I right? The Brawl Pit. With your host, Elizabeth. Oh, wait. I have minus 109 demand for happiness. That ain't good. What if I put another brawl pit across the street from it? And what if the kayfabe was they were, uh, they were dueling brawl pits? Old Bessie passed away of old age. All right, so we have veggies being cooked there. This is going to be another steak one here. Yes, this is the WWE, and this is the... Quick, somebody give me the name of another wrestling establishment. The A-E-W. Yes. Perfect. Zero carriers? I have 14 elders. Isn't that fine? Give me a second here. Sorry. What was that about no carriers? Where's my town? Where's my town? Hello? I, in fact, have seven carriers on their way right now. Yes. But why now? Oh, I have a bunch of fighters who are just kind of chilling here. Let's go out and clear some more stuff. Reporting in. Uh, do we like Joshka? Uh, Joshka is going to go become a, um, um, a whatchamadoodle. Alright, Joshka is now a settler. Joshka, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to somehow get here. Right away. Alright, and I have my three fighters, and I want them to go and clear. I have a quest, don't I? Yeah, right here. Your commands. What do we have here? Alright, what do I have to clear fighter-wise?
Oh, I actually just have medicine just sitting here? What? All right. uh -huh. Can I get that? Uh, 10 damage every 12 hours. Yes, I can get that without dying. I have an idling scientist, Joe Kim. All right, Joe Kim can go um, scavenge for us too, right? So let's get let's get Joe to start scouting. No, I need one person at home. I need one person at home. All right, the nuclear winter is here, and that you know that happens. It happens. It's fine. Why am I minus nineteen water currently? That's bad. Survivors at the gate. Hello? Uh-oh. This might be too many people. Bunch. Shuffle slowly to oh, they have tools and plastic. Oh, and I get a scavenger. Oh. You know what? Yeah, five elders. My god, this group. Whatever. Get on in here. Get on in here. Get on in here. This is fine. We're just we're just drowning. We're just Yeah, this is fine. Just need another water well. There, that's three more. God, I have so much science right now, too. Sure, we'll do the... Uh... Brr. We need more happiness too, don't we? Hey, what's up, Julie? Hi, friends. All right, I was working towards industrial mines. How y'all doing? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are playing some Surviving the Aftermath, which, you know, falls into that long popular genre of uh, survival-based city builders. So we got ourselves a colony here. They're running out of water. None of my toilets can flush anymore. You know, everything's fine. Everything is fine. Maybe not fine. 30 of my colonists are irradiated. Ah, that's fine too. I've got pills coming from somewhere, right? Huh? Who are you? I should go get more rad pills, shouldn't I? All right, and everybody in our colony is named after Joe. Jonuk. Yeah. So we've got uh, Jorappa, Josai, the Joeler, Settler, they're on their way, Jogan, the Nomad. No, it's supposed to be Jomad. Oh, I messed up. It's okay. They're on their way back with all these batteries. You got it. Uh, Joe Kim, of course, and Jonuk. Does the game pause when you open science? I don't know. I hope so. What's the problem here? Trapper. Oh, right. Actually, we want to upgrade this first. It hurts when I move. Have you tried not moving? If you don't know, uh, twitch.tv slash sugarshot. That's my friend Julie. Julie is an absolute delight. Oh, crap. Now I have homeless people. No! Oh, it's all falling apart. It's all falling apart. Uh, Julie is a delight. Ah, oh, somebody died there? How did they die? They died of radiation sickness. That's statistically likely, actually, now that I think about it. It's unfortunate, but... There's nothing we could have done.
If you don't deal with the radiation sickness, is the housing problem self-solving? <laughs> Uh, uh, I mean, you're not wrong. You're not, you're not wrong. But, uh, I mean. No protective gear? Not 120 people's worth of protective gear. I've got like four. Alright, who are you? Job done. Marcus. Hey, look. Marcus has got all these rad pills. Great. How long to get till you get home? Wait, do I have a faster way home? I might have a faster way home if I scout this way first. Yes. Can't complete the order. Can't complete the order. Otherwise, it's like seven turns to get home. Yeah, all right. Let's uh, let's scout here first. In conclusion, go follow Julie. I like Julie a lot, and you should too. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to reopen my medical clinics here and uh, start start helping the people who are irradiated. Irradiated? Every person you see that's running around is glowy is somebody who is dying. We have bandits at the gate. And I'm under attack? Come on, man. Hi. An unusually aggressive group of bandits marches towards the gate. Their chants are filled with bloodlust can be heard from a good distance away. They look tough, and taking them on would be risky. An offering might appease them. Or, or, what if we threaten them? You're not robbing me, I'm robbing you. Look, I have a lot of people who need radiation poisoning cures right now. And if you have them, hand them over. Glory and death. The threats only serve to escalate the group's skin-prickling chants. They bang their weapons against their chests, demanding blood. All right. All right. Uh -huh. Maybe we should send some of the glowing people to the front door. All right. How are we doing? There's 18 of them. It's pretty close, actually. We won. We did it. Daniel died of rad sickness, but Jack was born, and Isabella is now an adult. All right, the hunting lodge is now completed, so I need to move the work area to here. Oh, I could have even just done something else before. All right. All right, the toilets are backing up. I really need somebody to get the water moving here, please. Please, I beg of you. Bradley was born. Okay, how are we doing for housing? Getting there. Oh, a new specialist is ready. Uh, who are we going to send out? Alright, we have a settler that's already making their way around there. I need... um, Probably tools from somewhere as well, right? That's happy boxes. We're already getting the clothing from there. This scavenger is going to grab that stuff. Maybe grab clothing afterwards. Oh, here we go. Your orders? What do we have here? Hello! A high rise. Uh, last time we went through the window, it was totally fine. I grabbed the nearby coins. Look at that. Easy. Out with 400 gold again. So we could hire another person right now, and I think that would be fine. It could double our input of fun boxes, which is probably pretty important. So let's recruit a new specialist. They are a scavenger. I think we're just going to immediately turn this scavenger. Wow, I love them though. Look at them. Two hundred scavengers, nice. Never mind. I'll turn someone else into that. Your 
All right, hold on. What was Joe Kim's stats? 150 scavenge. No, we like Joe Kim. Got a bunch of good scavengers. I think it's probably... Maybe it's Jarappa when Jarappa gets home. Yeah, Jarappa only has 20 attack and 100 scavenge. All right, I think it's time for Jarappa to... Uh, My pleasure. To get promoted. We're going to promote Jarappa. How am I still thirsty? How are my people so thirsty? Just doesn't make sense. Two colonists have died of old age. Yeah, okay. One colonist is homeless. Dustin was just born. Concrete just got exhausted. Okay. Pollution exhausted. What was me? What do you think of our little town chat? I kind of love it. I kind of love it. Wait, why is this only 10 entertainment? Hold on. Additional entertainment due to variety bonus. So having two of these entertainment districts across the street from each other is bad? I didn't know that. I thought people loved Wrestling Alley. It's com it comes with snacks. This is the worst. There's a small group at the gate. Okay. We've made a new discovery. A ragged bunch. Hello. Slowly towards the gate. Their clothes are torn and dirty with traces of dried blood. One of them pleads, Our caravan was torn to shreds by bandits and we have no place to go. Could you help us? Well, I am about to make four more houses and we did need more adults. People were just talking about the fact that I only have one carrier. So this seems like a little bit of serendipity. Have I done any dome construction? No. Um, have any of the partial dome constructions found on the waste panned out yet? Uh, so how that worked, Plasterboard, is I have like um, some endgame buildings I can work towards, and I've done no work towards it. Ooh, they came with berries, tools, and four colonists. Alright, I have scavengers just standing by, waiting to scavenge. In. They should both get ready to go out. Yes. Alright, Jonak, your job, should you choose to accept it, we're already grabbing those, is going to be these tools. Can do. What's up? And your job, should you choose to accept it, is going to be to grab... Hello? Nothing. <laughs> Bold. All right, you're going to go explore. Can do. Then I just have this scientist, Joe Kim, sitting behind. I mean, Joe Kim is a pretty smart guy. You know what, Joe? Yo, you go out into the world. You go do your best. All right, there's some pretty dangerous science events down here. Right? You could do that in like an hour of work, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You go, Joe. You go, Joe. Sounds good. You go get us that danger science. I believe in you. Now, speaking of danger science, I want to keep drilling. Oh, I'm working towards it. Amazing. Everything is fine. George was born. God, I have so many babies. Have you followed Juliet chat?
All right, I think it's about time for me to upgrade these once my components get back in. Minus 10 power. Yeah, I think we good. I am going to need more of these components, though. Two people are malnourished. Unlikely. Can you post her Twitch? She rated her earlier, but yeah. Aren't there any mods who can give a shout out to Julie? I'd appreciate that. What's this? Plastic. Uh, I think I need to scout a little bit further here. Oh, I have plastic right there. Never mind. Can I do this? Can I grab both? Or do I have to do this one at a time? Wait, I have a guard. I have a scout tower literally right there. Found some more sandworms. Okay, it's exciting. Thank you, kits. A specialist is ready. I'm always nervous when it says a specialist is ready and then it gives me this screen, right? Mission complete. I kind of wish it was a little bit cleaner. Oh, I can get more antibiotics. Oh, what are these? Electronics? Okay, well, it looks like I have a bunch of stuff I have to raid on my way back with those medicine pills. That's fine. How close are you to where you're going? Getting there. We're about to get free tools and guns forever. All right, it might be about time for us to engage in some commerce as well. So it said, go to the map, and in the bottom right corner, there's a trade window. Hey, there we go. All right, uh, can somebody sell me electronics? No, but you will sell me radioactive pills and wood. I'm excited about that. All right, let's trade. Iodine pills, I'll take them all, please. Wood, yes, please. And then I will give you 260 junk. I'm so generous. And then the main thing I'm here to sell is... Corn? I guess? What else can we sell? Uh-oh. Did I not have as much stuff? I can sell some venison. That's good. I could potentially sell some concrete. Maybe that's bad. I don't know. I don't seem to be using a ton of it. Let's sell 100 concrete. And then... Oh, all right. All my pollution. Right. The most important thing. The thing they want more than anything. Pollution. Ah. Uh, sell them another 100 junk. Junk box. 360. I'm still currently losing money, which is not good. Which is not good. I could sell fish. I'll sell another 100 concrete, why not? Still losing money? That's impossible. I should be farming more aggressively, apparently. 
If I'm learning anything right now, it's that I'm not farming enough. Okay, once we're a little bit more established wood-wise, I'm going to try and upgrade... Sorry, that's not true. Once I wait for these components again, and we're going to upgrade these so that we can get the lumber mill, and hopefully that settles our wood forever. Catastrophes? Oh, right. I could make a uh, radar tower. I kind of skipped that. But I do have the ability to make a building. Yeah, like, I can't afford that, right? 60? Construct the colony center. To replace the campsite. Wait, do I just build it right on top? Oh, I already did that. Okay, never mind. Uh, I do need more tools. I think we're doing okay for clothing. So let's move some people around here. No free workers? Oh my goodness. This is a problem. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. I can close these clinics now that I don't have like 10,000 sick people. And then I can do... Hey, yo, I need more tools. Good, 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 good. There we go. You rarely build the, the radar. You just kind of work with it. Yeah, that's fair. Does this need repairs? Yes, it does. All right. We're netting water. Good. Uh, I have 130 people and I only have 10 toilets. But there's no lineup to get into them. So I'm going to assume that they're fine. I think other people were telling me they had a higher toilet ratio than I did, but I, I think I think I've nailed it actually. I'm gonna move my water tanks to over here, right next to the transformer. No, I'm gonna put them right there. There we go. And then that's some prime real estate now. Do you need to be able to access water storage or can I do this? Oh, there's a there's an access right there, right? Nope, there sure isn't. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Yeah, then we'll get rid of that. And then I could probably build some more cool buildings here. Do I have irrigated fields? Uh, survey says yes. I just don't have enough water currently. Or I'm also not providing them with any water. We've made a new discovery. Have we? Oh, industrial mining. Finally. That's exciting to me. All right. So I have... Oh, wait. Sorry. We're starting industrial mining. Which means I can start making plastic extractors and stuff like that. That seems so cool. That seems mega cool. A 
Hello? Ow. Rude. The good news is I got the auto repair set up there. Hey, what's up, Diamond? Thank you very much for 15 months. Several construction zones are lacking materials. Nah, that ain't that ain't me. Thank you for being both entertaining and wholesome for 15 months. Oh, shucks. Thank you for the kind words. Alright, so now that I'm netting that, I could probably turn off... Actually, that one's better than this. Where'd it go? And this one. There we go. All right. So now it's time to try and upgrade these to sawmills. That also means I'm going to need to put a transformer here, right? So question, I'm really hoping that this powers that because it's touching the circle. It's not fully in it. We're going to find out if this is enough to power a building or not. Trade convoy has arrived. Amazing. What if I changed my brand? Hey, what up, gamers? It's your boy. Back at it again. So like, oh, I guess, right, 89% grown, I see. I suddenly become Ian. I mean, I think there'd be, there'd be worse things to turn into. All right, let's get it rid of this emergency shelter. We're finally getting rid of one of our emergency shelters. Trying to move everybody into better housing. I have a deficit of power now. Surge, but you've always been our boy. All right. So your bet is this building will not be powered, but anyways, the in-out has never really been well-defined. Yeah, sure. Someone's at the gate. How did she get here on her own? A weathered woman carrying a worn-out backpack marches toward the gate. Please, do you have any medicine? My baby. No! Why would we turn her away? All right, so we can get the seeds for soy here. All right, here, have some medicine. Thank you for soy seeds. You could also just, like, stay here if you wanted. Thank you. Take whatever you want, dear. Give us a backpack full of seeds. That's actually really exciting. All right, now hold on a second. Where is... Are you in position yet? God, you're so close. What you need? All right, we now have tool and gun. And I'm very excited about this. Of course. That's huge. And uh, now we're really low on battery. Which is not a good feeling, right? I never took that vehicle home. It's kind of funny.
How do I get more electronic battery? Bringing home tools or bringing home whatever. How are you doing there? Adult and a kid. That's like a tier above what we actually care about. I guess we've just been unlucky and haven't found a place that generates batteries yet, eh? Yeah, okay. What are you... Who are, what are you doing? Where are you going? Oh, right. You're getting a science. That's your mission. Can do. Uh, maybe I take this car, actually. Get in the car. Can't do that. That'll make you go faster. Yeah, we're bottlenecked on our ability to get or electric electronics going by the fact that nobody has batteries. Most importantly, we don't have batteries. Did Joe say he couldn't do that? Yeah, Joe will learn. Job done. Job's done. All right, you got some tools. You're a professional scavenger? All right. Just keep exploring? Yeah. It's the plan. All right. I got about 30 minutes left in what I want to do for today. What other goals should we hit? We're getting like pretty self-sufficient on wood right now. Uh, we've moved almost everybody into these fancier, higher houses. That's actually not quite true. I still have uh, two emergency shelters, so I need to make a couple more. Make a couple more. We've made a new discovery. Need to be one lower than that, right? There we go. I now have the ability to do industrial mining, which I'm very interested in. Metal extractor, concrete extractor, plastic extractor costs 12 power. God, it's so expensive. All right, we'll find some people to buy, buy these electrical circuits off in a bit. I have saunas, but sauna I'm also worried about, right? Oh, sauna doesn't take power. Hey! Uh, it causes pollution. Did we do the upgrade to sauna? I clicked on it a couple times, but I think it keeps getting ignored. That's under health. Yeah, I have steam rooms. Steam room takes power, though. Whatever, we'll give it a go. Because I have power right here, right? So let's try building a sauna slash steam room here. I mean, it fits perfectly. Coincidence? All right, get in the car, Joe. There we go. Can't do that. Not going to happen. Okay. Apparently you can't exit the vehicle directly into a thing. You have to step out and go to the side. How are you doing? You appear to be dying. There's only one pill left? Okay, well done. How are you doing? Laughing. Natalie was born. Raphael died of old age. Mission complete. Alright, head on home. Okay. The Jowler. All cleaned up. Roger. All cleaned up. Should I grab this gas? I don't know if I care about gas. I'll grab electronics though. Well, actually, we have all this stuff. Whatever. Just take it all. Take it all, Jogon. Sure take it all.
The pollution dump exploded? Pardon? No, it didn't. You're lying. Hey, what's up, Tex? Good to see you, bud. On your break at work and wanted to pop in. Yo, I appreciate that. A new quest raiders. Local raider activity has picked up recently. Okay. Insufficient material to construct the sauna. Short metal. Amelia was born. Okay. That's good. Oh, we're short on metal. Edward was born. Any Twilight fans in chat? Are you Team Edward or Team Jacob? Wait, why does it have a red? Wandering Merchant. A van approaches the gate. Oh, cool. Squeaking and creaking under the heavy load inside. So they'll buy fiber for science. They'll buy food for science. Or they'll buy cooked fish. Interesting for science. I'll, uh, I'll sell them some rations for this. Surge with the 2008 hot takes. Wait, is that not culturally relevant anymore? Oh, no. Team Alucard? Nice. Alright, the sauna is almost done. Very excited. Scout Tower over there. Three people are injured and one is irradiated. How you doing, hospital? Oh, you're laughing. All right, good. Hashtag Team Burgess. Yeah, that's fair. All right, so I have a sauna. And now, how much does it cost to upgrade it? Yo, doesn't cost me... Whatever these things are called, components. So we're going to do it. And instead of costing wood, it just costs water. Love it. Love it. All right, then our people are going to have a sauna. Time for that onsen episode, everybody. Team Carmilla. Oh, that's from, um... Hack. The Dracula show on Netflix. Oh my god, Brain? Castlevania, right? That's Carmilla? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kim was born. Wow. Oh, let's see who this new person is. We have a scientist. We have a scientist with a gun. You know what we have? What we have here is a another uh whatchamadoodle. Scientist with a gun sounds like a perfect person to go and form a new colony. Your command. All right, but the question is where? I can get more science here. I think I'm actually fine for science. I can get more happy boxes. I could... Let's start heading down in this direction, actually, because I bet you we're going to get something pretty good here any second. Okay. Shoot. Were you literally just standing there doing nothing? Oh, my God. Oh, wow, that's, like, right there at our door, huh? You think the Jomad is strong enough to fight that? 12 attack damage, eh? Your orders. Yep. 
They are if Jarappa helps. All right, Jarappa and Jomad together. We're going to go take this on. Her Kamarla is also in Vampire the Masquerade. Oh, wait, not also. is also from that. I don't know anything about World of Darkness. Never really gotten into uh, Vampire RP. As a person who's gone to a sauna at least once a week for your entire life, an onset and a sauna are totally different. All right, fair enough. Uh, it might be time for us to finally remove this lumberyard. I think we can. I think I'm just going to demolish it. Oh, that feels good. We could put something else here now. Are you an insana? Amazing. What's up, Shrink? You got into it because I not have dropped a drink? Nice. Yep. How you doing there, team? Oh, we're crushing. Good. One is steam, one's hot water. Mm. Anybody got batteries yet? Yep, more of those anti-rad pills, though. Those are good. Do I have anything to sell? Yes, I do. All right, let's get more rad pills. We'll sell our cash crop. Look at that. Basically gold. You know what? I'll sell 200 of it. Why not? What else do we have here? Oh, sell all our pollution. You're welcome. You're welcome. Sell 43 of this. So now that we're generating free automatic rep weapons, I think I'd still start selling hunting rifles, right? Wow, yo, selling guns is totally legit. Because I have ARs. I have free ARs. Hi, my love. You're having a great day, bud bud. Uh, and we're netting money. I think I want to net slightly more money. Surge, selling guns is totally legit. Look, I tried peace. And I'm selling guns for medicine. There's got to be some type of moral in there, right? Oh, venison. There we go. We sell 160 of this as well. I step away for snacks, and this is what I come back to. Uh, yeah, yes. Buy their science for more rep. I, maybe. I'd rather just sell things for profit than, you know, keep snowballing. Rep is nice and all, but they already like me. Like, look at this. Look how close we are to that thumbs up. Blood sports bad, selling guns good. Look, no one said there were there weren't difficult moral decisions to make after the aftermath. Also, there is literally no math anymore. We are in the world of the aftermath. So uh maybe, maybe, you know, step off, because uh there's no way to balance those moral equations. Ha, got him. You see what I did there? I outwitted you, Twitch chat. Get on my level. What's your problem? Defeated. That's correct. Specialist is ready for an action. Oh, what do we have? Ah, it's a hostile area. No. I'm specifically trying to find more villages. What's the what's the opposite of hostile? I'm I'm trying to find friends. The outmath Twitch chat's not that hard. One could say EZ. I think we need more fish. 
No, we could just simply upgrade this one. Wait, that's impossible. How have I not upgraded my fish? There we go. Am I over to take am I able to take over hostile areas or are they permanent badlands? Um we've got a whole little network of places so you could see these little outposts or areas that we have working for us on the wasteland. But that being said, like hostile areas will just pop up on the inside. This is kind of a meta thing. It's not actually representative of a zone of control or anything like that. Like the point of the game isn't as a 4X game to take over these areas. You can make outposts for resources, but that's about it. But yeah, some areas are permanently controlled by bandits and we can fight them off. Lee is now an elder. Amazing. Oh. Uh... Short on metal. That's bad. 30% contamination is also bad. Do I not have anybody cleaning that? Ah, I found the problem. All right, well, that being the case. Simply make more. Um, where is it, though? I always lose this. Is it under this one? There we go. Maintenance Depot. Guess we probably need a burner there. Specialist in danger? Crap. Uh, where? Are you the specialist in danger? In danger? Get in the car and go home. Are you in danger? You're home. That's fine. All right. What do you got? Mission complete. You got a bunch of fuel. All right. You got it. The jeweler is home. Your orders. You're home. Jarappa is fighting and Jeweler's apparently out. winning. Excellent news. All right. Let's head to the next base now. Showtime. Your orders. And I've got this settler now. Right. Mission Hey, hey, there we go. Got some more batteries we can get here. This is a pretty good scavenger, so let's grab all of those. But that means my settler has nowhere to go. So I could be grabbing fun boxes. Or I guess I just hold you, don't I? Until I know where to put you. Is it worth it, chat, to run up here and start collecting whatever these are? Ordinance works before I need them? Because, like, I don't even know when I'm going to need it. But I could probably start collecting it and maybe start selling it, if that's okay. Or should I wait and use this person somewhere that we know is going to be valuable? What's up? Can't complete the order. You know what I mean? I didn't really think that was a yes or no question. No key? Yeah. Just send him out? All right. Get on up. You got it. We've made a new discovery. All right, ice fishing is done. The fishing hut stays open during winter storms without any additional heating. Amazing. Lock that in. Bow, bow. Boom, boom, boom. Those are base element to create electronic components. Very valuable later on. Nice. Heck yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Boo, 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 boo. 
I have all this room for activity here, and I don't know what to put in there. Maybe I put another happiness building in. Like the... I can put the botanical garden in now. That goes here, though. I don't have enough fun boxes, so maybe let's maybe let's not jump on that yet. The at the A group of survivors. Hello, who are you? Ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards. It's the nothing but children. Oh, but they have metal and a scout. Okay, never mind. Hi, welcome. Can we just talk about the flavor here? I absolutely love the idea of a scout named Crow who's just been like guiding a group of injured children around with her rifle and rad suits. Yes, get in here, Crow, please. That's mega cool. What kind of chair am I sitting on? I'm sitting on the human scale chair, Boon. Chair is your favorite streamer. Yeah, uh, this chair is kind of hashtag sponsored. It's, it's hashtag complicated. We've made a new discovery. All right, what's happening? Here? Shoot. Do. In you go. Good stuff. Yep. Audrey. Okay. Yeah, so Human Scale sent a bunch of us chairs to do a promo thing, and that promo thing just like hasn't materialized despite taking literal actual months. So I've got this absolutely fantastic chair with the expectation that at some point. I should try and use my influencer powers for, for good or evil. I'm not sure which yet. Wait, sorry. Please, Crow, please go scout. Go do your scout things. Are the chairs as noisy as mine was? I don't find mine too, too noisy. Thank you. You've saved Christmas. Oh, shucks. How's the butt feel? Yes. Good? All right, give me a second here. Uh, I think it's time for Jarappa to also retire and do something else. Because I need room for another person here. So Jarappa's going to head home and uh, get a new job. You want a chair with good butt feel? Do you? To me, I want a chair that I don't feel. I think if the chair... If I'm not aware of the fact that I'm on a chair, if it's like sitting on nothing at all... <laughs> now that's a good chair. It's like sitting on nothing at all. So I think I have enough science. I think I want more fun boxes here. Alright, so what area have I not claimed? So I'm taking, you can only have so many specialists, and so when your specialists get full, or close to full, you can turn them into settlers, and a settler can claim a province for you. Now there's different jobs, you can do one that recruits people, so we have one of those. We can do one that remotely heals your people, so there's one of those because we're doing a bunch of fighting in the area. You can do ones that require science, so you need there to be a science gear, and you can make a science area in it. Or you can collect special resources. So... In this area, we have one that's collecting tools and guns, and these are part of the map, so you kind of have to try and find them. This is another science, but we don't need science. So, I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to collect these fun boxes. Right away. Not going to lie, your sponsorship made me look them up, and I realized that's an entire paycheck. Yeah, it's a pricey chair, which is why I'm also surprised that uh, they haven't followed up for... Making me, um, making me shout out their chair a little bit better. You have a $50 Ikea chair? I used to be, like, a lot more chill about my chairs. And then I started getting a lot more neck and shoulder pain from long hours in a chair. And then I decided that that wasn't worth it to me anymore. So I started, uh, I started deciding that anything, anything that goes between me and the ground... So a bed, a chair, and shoes are something that I'm willing to splurge on. That I'm willing to invest in myself. Because I spend a bunch of time on it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Is that the Ian Horner rule? Turns out Ian's a smart dude. Trade convoy arrived. Okay. 
Let's just double check this really close here. And obviously, yeah, please don't feel pressured. If you're in a financial situation where that's not your thing, that's totally cool too. There is uh, no pressure expectation. I'm so happy with our little town chat. Look at this. I still just need better housing, though. I feel like I'm constantly playing catch up with these houses. How are we doing here on this fight? We're winning. Good. Perhaps upgrade to houses? Am I there yet? Hold on. Houses take power. It's not good. Oh, I just upgraded my fishing pier. So that's good. Public houses. What do you like better? What's... Wait. Hold on. Where is it? There's a shrine down there. Comfortable houses or high density houses? Which is the, uh, which is the good one here? The one house or the two-story house? Or is the two-story house an upgrade to the one-story house? <laughs> Wait, the public house is a bar? Now that's confusing. Why would you call your housing the public house? <laughs> call it a pub. All right, a specialist is ready for activities. Have I found anything yet? No, but I can go get some more medicine, which I'm always happy to do. Right away. Pub is short for public house? Is it? Surge is ranting in Canadian again. <laughs> Public house is a British term. Mm -mm. Bar and... <laughs> you know what you call bars? We call them public houses. And bar keeps... Publicans. <laughs> uh, I'd once again like to remind everybody that I'm a teetotaler. Never had a drink in my life. You can just make all these terms up. Uh, what do we want to repair next? Maybe our farms? Sure. Your job is to maintain the farms. <laughs> but coffee terminology. That's where, that's where we'll really start talking. Two children were born. Oh my god. I'm out of metal again. This isn't possible. Three babies were born? Stop having babies! I don't have room! Oh, nice! Wow, we got 69 batteries? Yo, uh, can you go there without dying? Five damage every 12 hours. Um, it's going to take you... Uh, 16... It's going to take you four hours. You'll take 20 damage. You can survive. All right, go get those rad pills and then head home. This is why you stop using shanties. Wait, are shanties making me more babies? This is terrible news. Hey, we want to fight. Good job. 
continue. Ooh, I got more clothing. All right, real quick, let's go here and heal up because we got a little healing outpost. Wait, you didn't take any damage. Go fight. What's happening? Yeah, just go fight again. What I get now? Unlocking all the Chivos, chat. Getting all those sweet, sweet gamer points. Start building the Doomsday Bunker. Should I start building the Doomsday Bunker? 200 metal. Nope. Feels an awful lot like uh, they are billions right now. Just trying to squeeze in, like, in as small a space as possible, like power and water and stuff. That's the victory condition? Okay, so as long as we're just, like, chilling and having a good time, don't worry about it. Alright, so as soon as I have shanties enough for everybody, I really want to destroy these emergency shelters. Or maybe I keep them. Maybe I keep two emergency shelters just in case. We can, like, put them down here. You know, when people first move in, we've just got emergency shelters for them. Job done. Sure thing. Hey, what's up, Ninja Sock Monkey? Thank you so much for 13 months. The gamers dozen. Another button push. As always, appreciate you and your content. Thank you so much. You can feel that. They Are Billions is a hard game to beat. That was super fun. Honestly, one of the most fun sort of like streaming challenges we've done on this channel was uh, when I tried to beat 900% They Are Billions. God, how many weeks did that take me? That was a challenge. People won't move out. They're both empty. Look at that. Ocu Occupido, zero, zero. It looks like they uh, they did it. Looks like they did it themselves. Oh, how is this going over? Nobody's in the steam house. Don't like that. Sitting on 20 food. Alright, I need... Should probably get a little bit more than that going there, right? You got time to steam, you've got time to clean. <laughs> it's what I always tell my colonists, truly. I should probably make a second uh, lumber burner at some point. That, or I should start replacing these with uh, whatchamadoodles. Do I have a boosted burner anywhere I could see if I could replace it with something else? Decontaminate. Like, that doesn't upgrade straight to a uh, electric version, eh? An old stranger has appeared. Hello? The rumor has it an old woman that's gone a bit batty from all the radiation resides in the nearby forest. Any doubt of her existence is diminished when she suddenly appears at the gate. The woman cackles. Are you interested in riddles? Answer this. I make my home underground. Yet when I come back up, when water falls, what am I? <laughs> A rock. <laughs> what? I'm um, pretty sure it's an earthworm. Just because the other answers don't make any sense. Yes! That's it! Have some pills! That's, uh... Thank you? 
I guess. <laughs> I guess. All right. Well, the pill witch showed up. A hey, uh, mad dog. Thank you so much for six months and that prime. Was that more or less strange than when literal actual TQ showed up and uh, and sold us medicine? Oh, winter is coming. All right, winter is coming. Uh, how am I doing for winter here? Hold on. First off, harvest those crops. So, I've got a bunch of wood. I've got a bunch of burners. I'm a little bit worried that I, I haven't really been stockpiling this. I think I'm going to need a second logging camp. Just to make it through. Can I upgrade that to something cooler? No. No, I can't. So, let's make a second logging camp. Just because I don't want my people to freeze to death, you know? Lumberyard? Oh, this is the upgraded version. Right? Workers at the lumberyard go and cut down trees. Nope. That's the wrong building. Logging camp turns wood into firewood. All right. There we go. Then the other thing we build is some more shrubberies. Oh, hey, we have a two by two tree now. Neat. Wait, what? You weren't, you didn't see? I'm sure somebody clipped it. We had literal actual TQ show up as an in-game character and it was weird and we were here for it. Uh, we can get some more radioactive clothing. That seems kind of cool. Sure. Yes. Sure uh, you're here. Great. Wait, can I not build it? Wait. Cannot build an outpost in an occupied sector. So does that mean when a there's a shopping thing here? Ooh! We've discovered a new interaction, chat. If there's a settlement there, it takes the resource away unless we want to destroy the settlement. Rock Pusher, thank you so much for 45 months. That's amazing. I can't believe we have 45 month subs. Saying trees into wood, wood into firewood, fire, <laughs> firewood into fire, fire into... Oh, no. All right. I uh, don't want to be on fire. Check. I need... Heck. Oh, I got these people dropping stuff off. All right, here's the new plan. I'm going to run this person down to here. Right. And I'm going to set up a, uh, a drop-off for all these scouts make things faster. How are you doing? You're almost there. Good job. All right. Next turn. All what done. are you doing? Oh, look at all these medicines. Oh god, you have so many medicines. All right. Uh you can live through this. Wait, can you? It take you 6 hours. No, that's going to Dang near kill you. How about here? Six pills every 12 hours. That'll take you six hours. You'll take 30 damage. Then you head home. Okay. Ray was born. Welcome, Ray. Oh my god. How have you already been live for six hours? I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I've just been having so much fun playing this game, chat. Plastics depleted. Okay, well, that's potentially bad. I need above ground plastics. 
Did you ever get those toilets warmed up? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you know we did. Underground plastic, underground plastic. Uh-oh. Underground plastic. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Underground, underground. There is no more overground plastic. That is uh, very bad. I already built one scout tower. It was over here, and it's done a full scout scout. So I guess that means I can delete the... Like, I can take this scout tower and remove it now, right? Time to start digging for plastic? I don't have the ability. Digging for plastic is too expensive. A plastic extractor costs us 30 of those uh, science things, and we have 15. So we might get kind of bottlenecked on plastic here real quick. Strategy builders will do that. You lose entire days. Yeah, no kidding. All right, I just can't spend any more plastic. That's fine. It's totally fine. I could always buy plastic. What if I bought some plastic? What emote did I steal from James? We're still in a legal battle right now. So nothing has... Uh, no emotes have changed hands while we're going through uh, ongoing legal litigation. Okay, I can't even buy plastic from anybody. Awkward. Awkward. Potentially. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe maybe James and I can work something out. We've also both been really busy. So there've been uh, there's been no I don't think I've actually talked to James since Desert Bus ended. But the important thing is that we kept Pong Champ. We kept Pong Champ emote, right? And, at, and isn't that what really matters? Specialist is ready for an action. We won the battle. Nice. Not, oh! Hey, uh, you know how I was just talking about not having any electrical things? I just got 50 as a reward for that quest. Yo, that's huge. Ready. All right. Oh, wait. Which one of you has it? Shoot. Was that you? Or her? Heck. All right. I need you to check that out. You run back. Have I considered retiring champion? We'll see. We'll see what happens next year. We'll see if James wants to continue coffee pong. All right. Okay. I think I do need to call it, though. I don't want to go too, too long. Because, again, I'm also going to be streaming another six hours of this game tomorrow. Right? So, let's uh, let's call it a day. Let's save. And let's say goodbye. Sorry to end it rather abruptly, but I can't think of, an, like, an, an end point otherwise. I just imagine myself playing this game kind of forever. Which is good and bad. Right? It's, it's good that we're having a good time. And it's bad... Because um, I could easily go way too long. <laughs> yeah, uh, one more? But there's no turns, right? It's like Stellaris in that respect of how do, you actually, how do you actually stop playing at any given point if the game just keeps going? It just keeps going indefinitely. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hope you had a good time. I sure had a good time playing. You're all wonderful. Uh, thank you for the subs and the bits and all the support. Thank you as well to Julie. Julie for that raid, twitch.tv slash sugarshot. Going through. Yeah. I'll be back tomorrow with uh, one more stream of this at the very least. We'll see where we end tomorrow. If, um, if there's a bunch more content we want to do. And then reminder, Monday is the finale of our Ocean Block playthrough. And Wednesday, the launch of 1.18. A brand new Minecraft server, which I'm very, very, very much looking forward to. So look forward to all that, friends. 
If you're new to the channel, consider following. Stream six days a week, every day at 9 a.m. Pacific. Try and go for uh, kind of a chill vibe all the time. Yeah. And now we raid. And now we raid. Let's raid Wheeler. Wheeler is playing Hollow Knight. That's exciting. Hollow Knight's kind of like um, Dark Souls, I guess. I tend to be very family friendly. Wheeler is an absolute delight, but will occasionally say bad words. So just be aware of that. Uh, but go send some positivity. Go let somebody know that they're loved. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye-bye.